to wake him up, we'll go ahead and get started with uh, what the hell went on last time, two weeks ago. Mm. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, let me set the... Why do you do that to yourself? Um, you know, it, it's kind of like Stockholm Syndrome at this point. I don't know any better. I think it's the way that, you know, <laughs> life is supposed to go. You guys abuse me by not knowing anything, and... I mean, come on. You ask us, what did you do last week? And we're scratching our heads. And now you want to know what happened a month ago? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks isn't a month. If you would like me to show you how a calendar works. In game time works, it I'd is. Be... <laughs> <laughs> and with, with, with the, the group that you're dealing with, you ought to, you ought to know. Uh, you, you ain't learned yet. <laughs> you're going to learn to die. Well, with the group that he's working with, you all better work on those five hours because we don't want next weekend to go and be part of this too. Well, we want to we want to level up too. So, yep. <laughs> I hope the five hours are enough for you all. And speaking of that, um, uh, I know Carquin's not here, so we'll have to pass that information on to him. Um. We will level up in between transitioning to lead B and DM. That'll be your. We'll do that. That'll be the last thing I do, and then we'll upload your upload your characters to your uh, vault, and we'll learn that again. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> trust me. The other day, I I had to do one for. I had to go pull a a character in, or I actually uploaded something. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, and I was like, okay, now how do I do this again? And by time we do it, I'll forget. So, all right. Uh, let me take you here. Ah, here. And you guys should be top right. Top left, sorry, top left, my bad. Yep. And... <sighs> We are in the uh, inn that we left off at. We have, it's, a, it's another night later on in the week. You have um, Jaqueline, uh, Rumble Cheeks, and then a couple other people you see through here, but not like the normal crowd. <clears throat> so... Um, uh, the bartender uh, actually has a bouncer on the outside of the door, and they're not letting anybody in except for those approved by Jaqueline so that you guys can make plans. All right. What I have, as far as notes, is Jaqueline is going to give us in during a distraction. She's going to give us a way out of the Underdark. And me and Gringo are getting... Uh, Put into a carriage full of food. They're snuck in. I thought you were going to be carried on the back of Carquin when he is like this. <laughs> That's what I have written down. Cute. <laughs> this is Carquin's new spider form. The funny thing is, is when you when you reach out to pet him because he's so cute, is he he like. Swallows your hand. <laughs> it's like the flirting. Right. <clears throat> yeah, so I think uh, what, that that spider actually has a name. Uh, let me see here. Hang on a second. Eric or something? I'm, I'm ringing, I'm ringing Lucas. Carl right now. He didn't answer my text, so. Lucas the spider. Oh, yeah. It's an animated cartoon series. Very funny. Uh, unfortunately, with uh, my wife, she is not a spider person. So hey, she... where are you at? <laughs> We're right here. Uh, of course. Well, come on, get it in gear. We're waiting. All right, bye. Right. Right. <laughs> was he sleeping? Uh, he didn't sound like he was sleeping. He said he just uh -huh. forgot we were starting early. I'm like, really? 
Now, if I yeah, remember right, he was the only one that never really uh, voted, didn't he? Or was he? He had to get a direct invite. Yo. <clears throat> well, hello. Yeah. Yep, we heard you. <laughs> And the drum roll, please. <laughs> so suck. It's it's Carquid's microphone. It, when he moves it or bumps it, it sounds like a drum roll or a. He's that or he's deep throating it. I'm not sure which. Yeah, that right there. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Am I coming through? Yes. Thank you for joining us. All right, we was just. All I see is a dark, is a black tavern. Ah, that's right. Hang on, let me fix you because I had to make adjustments with your spider. Second, I, I forgot to do the extra steps. <laughs> Update default token. Oh. Do a couple more things. Very far away. Yeah, hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I am super delayed, boys. Yep. Uh, hope I don't get kicked off. <laughs> I don't have anything on but Twitch and, uh, here we go. Hmm, that's weird. Let me save the settings and open Carquin back up. All right, I'll be back in the in the game. I'll be here. You guys can go ahead and uh, talk about your plan. Uh, at one point, Carquin talked about carrying the two clanky boys on his back, wrapped up in spider webs. How drunk was I? Really? I remember, <laughs> I, I, I remember it very vaguely. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on with my Google Chrome. It's acting funny. Close that window and launch game. Wrong game. Shit. <clears throat> We're professionals. And Bergy, you're like quiet. Am I? Yeah. Well, yes. No, no, you're not. Yeah, it's kind of mumbling to myself because I was having trouble. Am I still quiet? No. No, you're good now. Okay. I just so I've noticed. I don't. I know you guys probably don't go watch the videos, but I was ridiculously loud, and you guys were very quiet. So I've made adjustments. And it seems like <laughs> everything's okay, except now I'm quieter, but that'll match you guys. Because what was happening is yeah. I would turn the volume all the way up to hear you guys, to hear what you guys were saying so I could take my notes. And then I would say something and blow out the speakers. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know, everybody loves to hear their own voice, I know, but. Yeah, not so much. Not so much when it's at, you know, 800 decibels. <laughs> Uh, and save. All right, how's that look, Carquin? 
Oh, wait. I'm so looking at you're, the end. Yeah, you're still blind. It's kind of empty. And boom. No. No? Mm. Mm. No. Ah, why was that? I want to restart the app and, or reload the web page and see if that. No, no, I changed thing. your token. I I changed your token. Try now. It's it's me. I gotta fix you. Oh. Much better. Yeah, I'm back to my original token though. What? Did that's you have me, a... right? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, same token. Yeah, no, I mean on the flip sides. When I do the flip sides, like when I change you to um, ah dinosaur, ta da! I I make every time I make a change, I have to delete it and start over. <laughs> Gotcha. I mean, it's not a lot That's of work, but uh, it's it's a lot of work, and sometimes I. Forget. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so. Hmm. Get a little beer there. All right. So a couple ideas were thrown around, and we can work out those details in just a minute. Um. The bar is, uh, or the inn is low key. Everybody here is gently sli sipping on their drinks. The band is playing. Is the music working? No. Why? Why are you not? Why are you not doing music stuff? Fire ascension. I don't know. I'm trying to decipher the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, this one's gonna be a little difficult. I I worked hard on this one. You're trying to. Hmm. I'm glad y'all looked at it. Uh, where is the music while well, you guys sort it out? There we go. Okay. So, <clears throat> while you guys work on that and only half listen to me, uh, <laughs> Jaqueline uh, says to you, gentlemen, Brotherhood of the Bloody Blade, two days hence, your prophetess and the Despania royal persons will be at the temple for the sacrifice. The temple will be informed the evening before of the planted evidence that uh, you had put in their house that should delay the ceremony giving you time to free your prophetess I've arranged for you to go as pilgrims and have prepared a di prepared disguises and of course now at this point you guys will talk about um, some of the things but she continues to give you a layout of the land uh, and you guys can refer to handout uh, egg. I believe you can see the handouts. There's a handout of the egg. Yep. Oh, egg. yep. And so I cut this right out of the uh, manual. <clears throat> and so 18 is where you're going to come out. Uh, just a quick, I'll give you a quick reference. 18 is where you're going to come out, and that'll be a lesser temple. 19 will be the major temple, and 20 will be the docks. So, now you have your general understanding. So, 18 is the lesser temple, 19 is the, the greater Correct. temple, and then 20 is the docks. Correct. <laughs> and so, uh, the... So, the dotted line signifies a tunnel or some sort? Well, we'll get into that. Uh, you're going to come out, you're going to start at 18. What are we looking at here? <laughs> I swear to God. I got Jerry. And he said he's pacing himself. No, I heard what you said it was, but so, I, I don't see. What are you talking about? Uh, click on, go to your handouts. Click on the one that says egg. Egg. Mama said there'd be an egg. Okay, I'm, I'm with you now. All right, this is the egg of Loth. 
you know, spiders lay eggs, right? Ah, okay. All right. <clears throat> um, I see, said the blind man. Yes. Okay. Upon entrance to the egg, you will stop at the lesser temple, as you will be your disguises of a are of a lesser house. You will not continue to the main temple with the Despanias. You will. You will be from the house of Olenre, and speak in Elvish only. Olenre. Olenre. Elvish only. So okay, those yeah. of you who don't speak fluent, don't speak at all. <laughs> I have arranged for you to go as pilgrims. <clears throat> I will provide you everything you need if I can, and ask only that you free a particular uh, sacrifice that's there if he lives. His name is Nilonim. L N I L O N I M. Okay, all right. Spell that again. N I, because somebody was dropping something. <laughs> N I L O N I M, as in Mike. Nilonim. Yep. He is a drow leader of the Illustre <laughs> Resistance. Uh, sorry, drow leader of what? Of the Illustre Resistance. Illustre is the leader goddess. of the Illustre? Yep. Elistray is the goddess of Carquin and Persephone and Jaquelin. That is the basically the Antichrist to Loth. Or actually, I guess it'd be kind of reversed. <laughs> okay. Loth is technically the Antichrist, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Hmm? Oh, wait. I got quiet again. And the, the house we're going to be a member of is what now? Olin Ray. O L I N R A Y. Yep. Sure. <laughs> yes. You just need to know how to say it. <laughs> Olin Ray. And we're 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 freeing another sacrifice called linoleum. <laughs> yep. Linoleum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, look, Jaquella just kind of looks at you, and you have that perfectly blank stare on your face like you're serious. And she goes, fighters. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, music's not too loud, right? No, 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 it's perfect. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. He was taken last, late, a few days ago. Uh, he jumped the gun and led a small rebellion against the drow, and they are currently, they they took him immediately to the um, <coughs> temple to be sacrificed to Loth. <coughs> hmm. He and Yavanna Eldgrove will be located in the dungeon under the temple, the main temple. Rumor has it that Loth can and may be at the temple. Your escape route will be through a secret door. I do not have the location of it. However, I do have it on good account that it leads to the docks below and uh, under the temple to the pitchy flow. So we're going from 19 to 20 and that's what that dash line is. Your friend, Triple D, got in touch with us and will be there to pick you up. Here is a rough map of the Egg of Loth and the Lesser Temple. You said at the pitchy flow, right? Correct. And your friend, Triple D, got in touch with us and will be there to pick you up. He wishes to pay you back for saving his life and there's a hero point available if anybody remembers who triple d was not a fucking clue a wrestler in the 80s 
<laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, but no, no, no. <laughs> Triple D, it, it, it's more game oriented, not like real it's life. Some t it's some titties. Uh, was that oh, the, didn't we dust in D? Triple was D. That the Nomri rescued? Yes. To uh, hero point to both of you. You guys were trying to say it at the same time. He was the Nomi yeah. rescued from who? I got that all the way back in August. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Blast uh, from the past. Let's Rem see. He was rescued from... Oh, the Incubus Vampire. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, so you guys... Um, he, when you guys went to get your green cloaks and you got drove off, he stayed behind. Because he, he was going to meet with friends. Well, um he met with his friend who uh, uh, got him out of the city. So, anyways, apparently. So, do you have any questions of me, Jaqueline asks? Do you need anything? Now, let's do this shit. Oh, and uh, where it says Lesser Temple, you can open that up in a nice little five-minute paint drawing of the Lesser Temple. I didn't do a fancy one on paper and then take a picture or anything like that. I just paint drew one. I don't see the fuck you're talking about there. Lesser Temple. It's, a, it's above the egg on your handout. All I see is the Lesser Egg. Oh. Um, why? I got it. Okay, so it, yeah, it's it. The fighter doesn't know. So, yep. no, nope. all I see is eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. The thing I see that I see where it says egg. I don't see any other. So yeah. Uh, roll your <laughs> okay. do your mouse up and down a little bit. Roll it up and down. <laughs> so looking at this uh, lesser temple, the. Oh. The black outlined rectangle is the altar, and those diamonds are the frame. And the various ovals and circles are columns and a door to the south. Correct. Okay. I just want to make sure that I understood how you had it labeled. Yep. And that is facing uh, north to south, as it were. <clears throat> Uh, she informs you that at the door there will be two guards at all times. What questions do you okay. have of me, gentlemen? Who are these guards? Are they drow? Are they ogres? Are they bugbears? All they female bears? drow are on the egg of Loth. There are no male drow and there are no any other creatures other than drow females. Only supplicants like yourself make males may come <clears throat> um, and do stuff, but this is an entirely female run group from that point. Here's a question: Has anybody had the spell silence? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I I don't know. Honestly, I'm gonna see if it's on the druid list. <clears throat> so i have i have the command spell which i guess i could use to or cleric or ranger can cast it mm -hmm. but uh again i don't have you know I, my my DC saves my DCs are pretty low, so if someone has or can prepare that spell that might be useful. Yeah, it's not one of my spells. Are Only you... the cleric could prepare it though, if it's on his list. <clears throat> Second level spell. Why is it not? Oh, yeah, I do have it. All right. Yep. Okay. And, of course, Second as you guys spell. are kicking around ideas, Jaqueline puzzly looks at you, Sir Grangle, and says, well, what do you 
feel you need a silence spell for? Uh, possibly to keep the guards from sounding an alarm in ca just in case. Oh, Actually, okay. there's another use for it. If we have to fight those on the egg, we cast silence on them, they can't cast spells. Yeah, well, spells with any type of uh, vocal component anyway. Mm -hmm. Which is most spells. So, uh, so it's, that's one to keep, I guess, keep in your back pocket, and uh, I'll keep. I can keep command in my back pocket. Yeah. So I'll have, I'll have silence prepared. <clears throat> Gentlemen, you will be expected when you arrive at this door, and the. The Spanias go to the uh, uh, main temple. Uh, they will take you inside to inside of here to conduct your sacrifices. I will give you fair warning. There is approximately twenty to twenty-five drow. At, uh, not drow. Not twenty twenty-five drow. I'm sorry. About sixteen to twenty drow at any given time. Not necessarily all in the the throne room here, as it were. However, in the ceilings are several large spiders. What? Okay, a little more info on these large spiders. Okay. Like, what kind of spiders are they? How big are they? They are giant black widow spiders. I don't think 5e... Delineates what spiders what, but uh, they are Black Widow, and they are giant. Wet spiders. Okay, yeah, I, I I think I understand that. It just keeps getting better and better. I would probably like that uh, the staff block for that, please. <laughs> They're a giant spider. Uh, try to. Can you? Use the compendium to find it, maybe. Oh, uh, there's. What do you What do you want from it? I'll give you the AC and the hit points. How about that? Uh, if it ever came up, I would turn into it. Okay. Uh, as so soon as when you need it, I got it. I already got it preset. So yeah, it's because there's gonna be spiders, boys. I mean, Loth is the spider queen, right? Right. Yeah, yeah that's a given. <laughs> <laughs> like you do. Yeah, there's the giant spider, which is a <clears throat> CR1 creature. Yeah, it'll be a CR1. They're all CR1s here. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Now, of course, I the 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 book I'm basing this off of is AD&D, so there are different types, but hit point wise, it it'll be close enough across the board. So, gentlemen, you'll be expected to enter and observe the altar and uh, and bring sacrifices for the uh, frames. All right, what kind of ex sacrifices are they expecting? Oh, humanoid of sorts. And uh, sorts, yeah, humanoid. Uh, the better the sacrifice, the more blessings you get from Loth. And to, <laughs> and Persephone makes no bones about it. She is horrified, and she elbows Father Scab and leans in and whispers in his ear. And uh, Father Scab knows, I'm sure, exactly what she's whispering. She is none too pleased with. Providing sacrifices. Uh, so, just at a thought process, should we get some fake manacles to put on Grangle to be the sacrifice? He would have to be stripped out of his armor. Say again? 
Can I cast Minor Illusion on Grangle to hide his armor? Uh, yes, up until the point he's touched. Yep. That's how Minor well, Illusion works. Hopefully, by the time he's touched is the time where you can re-grab. He's already touched. <laughs> yeah, a little touched. Hey, uh, is Free Ascension Veteran Fast Car, is that Ario Speedwagon? Yes, sir, you get a hero point. <laughs> Uh, I get Ario Speedwagon from that. <laughs> so, I wasn't even reading it. So, uh, well, it can only fat the fast cart portion of it is only uh, is. You know, synonyms are an amazing thing. Ario. I was like, I was like uh, you know, flying soldiers or free, you know, free, uh, you know, something. Ario <laughs> was named after a guy, right? And I took his individual parts of his name and use synonyms to stretch it out and then fast cart obviously is speed wagon there's a fast cart that gave it away for me but uh <laughs> okay so you got you're, gonna gonna literally, literally, choice. you're gonna have to spell this one out for me okay hold on hold on i gotta i gotta look up his name because i i wrote it down somewhere Okay, uh, so Ransom E. Olds. Yeah, e Ransom Eli Olds. Was the it founder of the Oldsmobile, and he had a wagon called the Ario Speedwagon, and that's where they got their name. So Ransom, uh, Ransom E., and I forget what his middle name was, uh, Ransom is f too free. Uh, a veteran is old, obviously. And uh, his middle name. What is his middle name? Eli. Eli. Uh, Eli is biblical for ascension, right? I think something like that. I found it somewhere. <laughs> I made it. I liked that it was hard. <laughs> hard? No. Total garbage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Father wow, Scab, like last chance. I don't chance like that one at all. <laughs> Father Scab's last chance to get it. <laughs> no, no, no. I look. I do not begrudge uh, Grangle making the guess. It's it, it's a fair. It, it was a fair one. I just don't like how I don't like how you how you uh, uh, redefine some of those terms. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's go kill some spiders. <laughs> oh. So now again, so how how many how many uh, how many drow will be inside this uh, uh, two, lesser two temple? Two uh, expect all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, know the, the, I know there's going to be two guards outside the the entrance. Well, there will be definitely two guards at the entrance. You will meet an alkalite on the inside. Um. You'll meet an Elkalite on the inside that will escort you and your um, sacrifices uh, with uh, at least a total of four guards and then the main priestess, a very powerful priestess of Loth, uh, will meet you at the altar to hang the sacrifices in the, um, in the... Uh, in the frames, and of course, with, uh, another one on the altar itself. So these frames, yes, are they just like wooden frames that uh, they're going to be tied into? Uh, so you want her to describe the building in depth as much as she can? Well, what you're saying is we're supposed to expect us to bring three sacrifices. That would be correct. So one for each frame and one for the altar? Correct. Okay, well, I guess... <clears throat> I guess what the frames look like don't really matter. Because we don't expect to put any of our fake sacrifices in danger, right? Hell no. Okay, so what do they prefer to have sacrifices be? Do well, they want them to be males? 
He or, said humanoid, so... It, it, or it, does the gender not matter? Gender doesn't matter, however, certain creatures are more valuable. Uh, people who are, you know, uh, against Loth, um, um, you could use slaves. It, it doesn't matter. But it just... Hey, I'll volunteer to be one of the sacrifices. You volunteer for tribute? <laughs> you volunteer as tribute? I do. Better me than Persephone. Okay. And Persephone does um, uh, say, she says, you know, I would be probably the next most likely to keep ma our main fighters available. <clears throat> and then we just need perhaps a wee sacrifice for the little altar. <laughs> uh, and, 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 uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Hard he pass, is, he is, says. The, the, the drunkard, is there a drunkard in the bar we can just <laughs> pull, pull a pirate on him? If you, you come with us and do this. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've been voluntold. We're going. A, a hundred gold for you to be a volunteer. <laughs> Uh, no, none of the uh, people in there, they just scoff and laugh and go back to staring at their drinks. Uh, they make no uh, they make no bones about it. They are there working for Jaqueline. Well, Jaqueline, we have two two volunteers. Can you find us one more? Uh, perhaps two will do. Um you can you can present it in any way you wish. Um, perhaps you could take some gold and just hand that as the main sacrifice, because you know what they say: gold talks and bullshit walks. Yep. I was going to uh, say lizard shit. What would walks, be but... what would be an appropriate amount of gold? Well, by the sounds of it, you don't plan on actually following through, so you could hand them a bag of scrap metal and they wouldn't have a chance to look at it I imagine yeah. but uh, perhaps you can hand them an empty box <laughs> <laughs> well let's just uh, to be safe let's uh, you know a in case someone were to peer into the box or the bag what would be an appropriate amount of gold? I figure for this, probably about 500. That's kind of what I was thinking. I can front that. I figure we can all, uh, we can all donate since we're all, mm -hmm. all of our asses are on the line on this. Um, I will happily donate a hundred gold. I'll cover me and uh, um, shit, uh, Father Scab because I don't think he's got any money with him. Okay. <laughs> he's broke as a joke. He only pays in copper. <clears throat> Here's 100 gold from me. Okay, so that's 300. I gave you two. I'll give you 100. Okay, so that's two. Three from make you give two. I gave a hundred, so that that should be five hundred. Okay. So I just didn't bring a whole lot of gold with me. I've got you know plenty of gold back in the bank, but yeah, I'm good. Um, actually, hold on a second. Let me look at something. Did we uh? Let me, let me look at something here. Didn't we at some point uh? Come and do some gold when we. All right, there was 170 silver pieces from. Oh, from the merchant ambush. Of course, now we gave that. That all went to the. Uh, that all went to. Uh, um. Or did we? Did we? Were we able to keep the uh, our? From the ambush, were we able to keep the stuff that we got off of the off the individuals? Yes, I didn't ask okay. for it back. 
if you're asking me. Okay. So there were 90 gold pieces, 170 silver pieces, uh, and 120 electrum pieces that we got off of those. So uh, let's see. Hold on a second. Now, Sir Grangle, uh, Sir Fuego, and Sir Carquin, your hero point is in addition to any inspiration you had and works differently in this case. Okay. So where do we where do we show hero points at? Uh, you can like click on your token and pick a symbol. Y'all figure it out. Um oh, right. Uh it makes it easier, Grango. I'll just I'll just front the five hundred. We're gonna have to keep up with everybody. I've got plenty. I can I could have fronted the entire five. No, no, it's okay. We've got we've got the money. Oops. Um there you go. As long as y'all pick the same thing. Or, right, as long as you okay. know what it is. I don't it don't have to be the same thing. As long as you know what it is. I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the cup. That way it'll uh Yeah, I don't have any use for the cup yet, so uh, yeah, the way I'm going to do uh, hero points for this event is um, if you have a bad roll and you want to ignore it, it'll be an automatic nat 20 success. Wow. Instead of a reroll. Now, your point of inspiration, which everybody has, you can use normally plus, uh, plus a d6 or a reroll. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see here. So, um, again, so we've got two guards at the entrance. We're going to have a priestess who's a powerful priestess of law. And then four other guards inside. At least. At and least. then the two guards at the door. Okay. All female drow. You will not see any other uh, drow or uh, creatures other than slaves. You will see slaves, but the free persons are all female drow. All right, so... All right, so we've got our two sacrifices. We've got Father Scab and Persephone, and we're five hundred dollars, five hundred gold. <clears throat> so how does uh? So tell us uh, um, Jaqueline, how does this typically go? I mean, is it basically one well, uh, one house is allowed in at a time? Uh, you all are going to be from the same house. And uh, you will come in with the slaves in hand. You will walk to the altar. And from that point, the uh, guards and the um, uh, acolyte that walks you from the door to the altar will take a slave between two of them, two people, you know, two drow will grab one of the slaves, <clears> or <throat> the sacrifices, I'm sorry. And uh, they will take them to the frames and tie them to the frame uh, using pulleys and different stuff to lift them up. And uh, the priestess will say some words and the spiders will come and feed. Are the spiders already within the chamber? They are. Oh, yeah. Twenty About 20 feet off of the floor, you'll see a network of spider webs. The spiders will be hard to see because it's fairly dark in there, but you'll start seeing them when they start stringing people up into those frames. Okay. All right, Father Scab, how good are you at escaping? Well, I don't plan on being tied up. And as, as they are being escorted there, you will continue to walk to the altar and lay your um, money at the altar, as it were. And uh, okay. th that's when they'll start talking and everybody up so <clears throat> essentially this is going to have to go down prior to them laying hands on the sacrifices because otherwise yeah. you're looking 
you're looking at strength checks to, to break loose to be able to do whatever you need to do to cast spells or defend yourself. So um, those of us who are coming in with the sacrifices need to have the sacrifices weapons on our person and uh, probably also, I guess, have their whatever the Father Scout, what kind of armor do you have? Uh, I've got chain mail. Okay. But uh, I don't see why we can't keep our... If, if I keep my weapon with me, concealed under a cloak, my arms behind me under the cloak, I don't even need to be tied up. They you know, will... I can act subservient, submissive, act like I'm bound. Mm -hmm. uh, well, slaves don't get afforded a cloak usually. Say what? Slaves don't get afforded a cloak usually. <clears throat> well, so what you're saying is that uh, bleeding in cloaked slaves would be would be suspicious. Um, well, tell me how you would sell it. I uh, mean, the, the cloak, um, if we wanted to have them cloak Jaqueline, what would be appropriate to indicate that they are, that they are, uh, sacrifices, um, Well, look, before we get into all of this, this is getting very complex. And I think we need to keep it more simple. What is the point of us going into this building? To fuck shit up. It's to rescue our priestess. Who's our, gonna be uh, in the who's gonna be in the dungeon below the main temple. <laughs> right. I think we just cover um, uh Father Scab and uh um Persephone with burlap bags. So I think you know what they got on is just covering them in burlap bags. Okay. So once we get once we get into once we get into the lesser temple, how do we get down to where our prophetess is? The prophetess isn't at the lesser temple, she is at the greater temple. Right. So how do we but how do we get to the dungeon how, in the greater temple? How do we get to her from the lesser temple? If we don't need to go in the lesser temple, then we can skip all this. You are you are a going as a minor family, and uh, they will not let you just walk up to the temple. However, if you wish to come up with a way to not go inside, as you are expected to do when you approach the temple, and somehow get past the guards that are standing there watching, that that is an option. Well, no, I guess what I'm asking is, how do we get, if we get inside the lesser temple, from there, how do we get to the priest, uh, the prophetess? Uh, you would come back out the front doors after the carnage and walk over to it. That would give the, the Spanias time to get into the temple, as the main temple does not have guards standing outside. Then, you know, what I say is, as soon as we get in the doors... Let's just drop a fireball, and I'll do flame strike, and we'll just lay waste as soon as we are in through those doors and just kill everybody. Sure. We don't have to go through any subterfuge about pretending to be sacrifices and all the rest of that after we're in the door. I mean, we, we can pretend that we are up until that point, but once we get inside that room, let's just lay waste. Um, so, and since this is going to be, we're, we're going to be, it's basically, we're going to be walking in, you guys will be concealed long enough in burlap sacks, long enough to be in the front door. At that point, I see what you're saying. And what is the, what is the, what's the footage on this, uh, on this temple? 
Uh, the temple is uh, 60 feet wide, left to right, and 100 feet north to south. However, <clears throat> there is a back wall that separates uh, the last 20 feet. So it's, you're, you're only going to be working with 60 and 80. Uh, you will be fighting all the spiders, based, and this is Jaqueline talking to you. You'll be fighting all the spiders and everybody that's in that room. And the noise and ruckus that you're going to raise is going to draw the rest who are not a, out to see what's going on. So they will be coming in. From uh, the door we just entered or other doors? Uh, somewhere else. They are uncertain where that is. Okay. Drop from the ceiling with the giant spiders. Yeah, <clears throat> so, you know, let's... Uh, Let's go in prepared. Okay. What is the range? What is the range on Flame Strike? So Flame Strike is kind of like uh, what do you call it? Um, Fireball. Moonbeam. Can I draw? Can but with fire. In okay. reality. Okay. Can I? Can I do? And that? it's not persistent. No. It's just you know like a waterfall of fire that lands on somebody. I don't remember exactly the. I think it's like a 20 foot radius circle. Okay, so I would say uh, that we need to have um, Mad Chops, Mad Chops launch the uh, fireball onto the spiders. And how many spiders? Uh, there's somewhere between 15 and 20. Yeah, so quite defeating frenzy. Perhaps what we can do is uh I can call a flame strike on the drow just... that are that are in there. And then uh, once we lure the spiders in or once the spiders react to an attack, then we can do the fireballs. I would flame strike the priestess since she's a since she's apparently a powerful priestess. Well, you want to center your flame strike on her, um, and then um, after the flame strike, I'll hit him with an insect plague. Okay, and then the fireball fireball for the uh, for the spiders, and somebody I'm needs to. Big. How big is this lesser temple or this temple? He just went through that 60 19. feet wide by about eight. Yeah, yeah. We'll be working with about 80 feet deep. Oh, okay. Yeah, is that... and, and I'll be honest, when I did the design, somehow I got it all fucked up. So it's a little bit bigger than that. But would the fireball cancel out the insect pledge? The fireball be first and then insect Well, plague? yeah, that's why I said after the fireball and flame strike, I'll hit them with the insect plague. Okay. Yeah, and I've got an insect plague also. Okay. It'll be a buzzing. So, um, let me see here. Um, Sir Fuego, can you give us a percentage chance of success? That's exactly what it sounded <laughs> like right now. 97.33 repeating, repeating, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right let me look at oh uh, yeah here we go <clears throat> are you actually calculating this no i'm uh, oh, i'm looking okay. at the, a spell i have not used before uh, animate dead. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh, hmm. I, will be, I will be able to create, if I don't use any of the other third level spells, I could create up to three undead servants, I believe. And I'm pretty sure there's some pretty strong skeletons around there that you might be able to animate. Oh, oh, anybody that any bones or, or corpse, any bones or corpse. So, 
make them fight themselves. Okay. Our job is to make the poor bastards die for their own ground. <laughs> All right. So here's a question. Before we go in, I have I have the aid spell, which if I cast it at a uh, third level, which we'll use, I've I've got two third level slots. That will increase everybody's, uh, well, up to three people. Mm -hmm. I can increase their hit points by 10. That's in addition to, you know, if you're within 10 feet of me or 30 feet of me, you're the other stuff that I carry with me. My, uh, um, I'll have to save a third level spot, slot for for revivify just in case we need it. Okay. Um, so what do y'all think about that? Do you before we go in? Because uh, the aid lasts up to eight hours. It's one action, and I can cast it on up to three creatures within range. Um, the range is thirty feet. So as we're going before we go in, cast this on you guys at a third level. Um, and on the, whoever we need to decide who I need to cast these on. Be squishy, gentlemen. Well, you got to <laughs> too, Gregel. If you um, need, need to use that slot, Jaquella. You got what now? I've got revivify as well. If you need to use that extra slot. Jaquelin well, we jumps may, in. We may both we... need Revivify, okay? We... okay. <laughs> Jaquelin jumps of... in real quick and says, Gentlemen, it sounds like you plan on wiping out the Lesser Temple, and perhaps I can help you with some additional spells. I will bring you another scroll of uh, aid for you to make sure everybody has enough hit points. What what else could I possibly bring okay. Can, can you can you make it a can you make it an, an aid spell uh, of third level or higher? Absolutely, we can have uh, that done. And let's see, what what other spell would be uh, would be that we could get a scroll for would be a, would would it be helpful? Uh, chain lightning. Chain lightning. Uh, yep. Okay. So somebody write these down. Uh, you see her uh, do a hand and arm signal, and uh, our good friend Mr. Rumble Cheeks comes over, and she whispers to him to stand by, basically, and uh, uh, <clears throat> to fetch some magic items, and uh, he just waits patiently to hear what you guys have to say. Okay, so we've got a scroll of aid, third level or higher. Yep, third level or higher. As high as you can get, as high as we can get. What would uh, what would the higher levels do for you? Uh, it's an additional five points for every. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, each slot level above second is an additional five hit points. Okay. <laughs> I just heard the background noise for the background music. I also have Wall of Force. I can cast in a sphere around the priestess, and uh, she can't dispel it. The only way to make it go away is uh, disintegrate. Can you stop concentrating on it? Uh, don't ask me those questions. So what's uh, what, what does the Wall of Force do? Uh, basically, I can encapsulate the priestess in a, in a wall of force that she can't penetrate. And so she's basically a cone of silence. She's in there. Okay, <laughs> but we, but we can we can still penetrate through it? No, no. That's the, that's the downside. I would say it basically would it, it just, you know, put her to the side for a bit. Well, keep that as keep that in your back pocket. That okay. might be something we need to have, but... Uh... Um, um, that's my highest level so I can only cast it once and... alright so here, here's here's another thing as I'm sitting here 
just thinking. Um, if we, hmm, let's just say that we were able to step inside this we'll lesser this temple. Way. We step inside the lesser temple and we just put everybody to sleep. <clears throat> From there, we could walk to the greater temple, right? Yes. If you do not, and Jaqueline answers your question by saying, if you do not deal with the lesser temple, <clears throat> when you get to the, the major temple, you will eventually cause an alarm. There's just no way around it because you're going to be in there rooting around looking for your prophetess. And right. um, they will come from the lesser temple. Now, it'll take them time to get organized. And you have to get past them to start with. So if you don't deal so with them we, up front, you deal with them at the end, possibly. Right. So if we slaughter everybody in the lesser temple first. Yes. They won't be able to reinforce the greater temple correct the the one thing that i'm most nervous about is that rumor that you had mentioned what's that if loth or if or the avatar of loth is nearby we're in trouble well she would most likely be in the main temple yeah but we got to go there well i understand that but there's i mean we're just have to deal with that we just gonna have to deal with that if if it happens. I mean, it's we, it's a contingency we need to have on in the back of our mind. Yeah. Um, so now let, let's go back to uh, possible scrolls we could have. So we've got a scroll of aid, third level or higher, a chain lightning scroll. How about another scroll of fireball? Or or necklace of fireballs. Does anybody have a fireball wand? Or something like that. Someone's we got had a wand. One. I don't, this, don't you have that uh, uh, matchups? No, sir. I, I got a someone... wand of polymorph, a wand of web, and a wand of binding. Okay. And a wand of frost. Ah, uh, okay. That's what it was. We've okay. switched out wizards a couple times, so. So uh, well, we we had a a uh, necklace of fireballs that went with the previous wizard. Early, yeah, early, early on. Okay. So either like uh, either scrolls or wands of aid, chain lightning, and fireball. And you said sleep. How, how What's the range on sleep? Uh, I think sleep is like 60 feet. Okay. And who, you have that? That's your, that's a, that's a spell within your, uh, within your so record. It doesn't work on elves. Yeah, I was going to I was going to say, I don't have sleep. Okay. Um, sleep does not work on elves. Which okay. Which are elves. So, what other type of scroll or wand would be... You, I mean, you've got a wand of web, you said. That, that might be good to tie up, uh, tie up uh, you know, one of the drow. Um, so... Uh, so that you know, that's that's one that we could use. Uh, that's good to have. Let's just make sure we remember we've got it. Um. So, so if she's able to get us a, a scroll or wand of aid, third level or higher, chain light. What's the level on a chain lightning spell? It's a six level evocation, <clears throat> and I have to check something. I'm not sure you can cast it yet. That's no, probably not. Even if it I can is cast a... lightning, though, mm. lightning bolt. Yeah, you I've, you've cast Certainly. lightning bolt to, to quite uh, quite effective at one point. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'd, if anybody wants to jump in, that's played five e a little more. Um, do you have to be at a skill level to cast it off of the sheet of the? Uh... I would say if it's oh. on a scroll or if it's in a yeah. wand, no. Sometimes you, but, you you know depending on which version you're playing, you have to have good. the level, you have to have a skill set to understand the way it's written. And well, again, let's just do a quick Google search here. Hold on a second. That's what I'm checking to. I'm getting in the books. Do you have to have a specific level to cast spells from a wand or a scroll? 
So you got to do an ability check if it's at a higher level than you are. Okay, yeah. I knew there was as some. Long as, as long as it's within your <laughs> wheelhouse, like it, it will be in your, it's on your class's spell list, you can read it. But uh, yeah, you need an ability check. Okay. And so Mad Chops is level 10. Um, he would be the most likely person to cast it, right? Yes. And he is one level away from a uh, sixth. Okay. I'm only passing level five spells right now. And you're just, but you're only one level away from six. So I'm trying to adjudicate right. how how you would feel you could pull it off. Okay, so there are two kinds of magic scrolls in 5e. Spell scrolls and other scrolls. Anyone, unless it's listed specifically, can use other scrolls. But spell scrolls can only be used by a class that has that spell in their class's spell list. Mm -hmm. So it does, it's like a scroll does not have the limitation of a wand because a wand requires another specific magic um uh, yeah uh the 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 part that's going to be the difficult part is uh because it, it's six level uh is what i'm going to have to do for him and have him roll a skills check to determine yeah, whether so what it, what it says what i'm looking at it's uh this it's a dc of 10 plus the spell level Mm -hmm. So 16 in this case. And then whatever uh, other hocus pocus you want to throw in there for the situation. I'm thinking Arcana for this. So matchups right. would be. Uh, yeah. Uh, what will. If you guys want to do that. Well, first of all, let's find out if we can get it for you. What what other spells do you want? Uh, we'd like to have a uh, a wand or scroll of fireball with multiple charges. Okay. So probably the necklace, I would guess, right? Yes. Is the music cutting out for anybody else or just me? I, I can't yeah, hear the music right now. We just, we just cut off. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> Not just you. It just keeps cutting off, and I'm like, am I having bad internet connection or something? You know what? Because it's aggravating. I am going to stop it. For now. That's why I restarted earlier. Not only did the music not play right, but the little flicker and fire, would, uh, they weren't flickering. Okay. Now, don't you, uh, uh, Mad Chops, don't you also have a spell called Wall of Fire? Yes, that's, uh, what level was that? Ding dong. That's a level four. Yeah. I can cast it once. All right, so. And there's my Wall of Fire. I guess uh, our plan is to... Uh... Escort us up to the Lesser Temple, get inside, kill everything, and then go to the Greater Temple. Yes. Now, Are we've we also got to keep in mind that there's when we get through the door and the ruckus we raise, the two guards that are outside the door are going to come in. So, oh, yeah. We should be ready for them. Um, I'll take them. Um, so, but one of us as tanks, one of us as tanks is going to have to stick with the squishier people. So, um, we, we need to do this before we get too far into the door and we need to make sure that everything is in range for us when we do. So 20 feet inside the door, um, you know, we, we just don't want to get too, se too separated. Yeah. I'll take, uh, I'll take rear guard to deal with those two because, uh, you as a tank and a spellcaster need to veto the rest of them to do all the, the, the spell damage shit. Okay. So <sighs> if we can get the if we can get the aid aid spells from like scrolls or wands, I don't care which, uh 
I can keep my aid spell in the, in the back pocket to cast if needed. Um, and then with a, if we can get wand or necklace of fireball, whatever, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, we just, we need to have as much offensive capability as possible and try to keep some in reserve for when we get to the main temple too. Right. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, so if yeah, we can, and I'm not, I'm not suggesting that we, you know, blow our load with all our spells right away, but you know, let's, uh, let's overwhelm them as soon as possible and try to kill as many as we can at range. Right. <laughs> so, um, so the, I guess the, this, this, this is our plan is, and, uh, if we go, you'll have to try to take care of those two as, as quickly as you can. Yep. Um, because they, we don't know how many other people are going to come out of, uh, out of other doors and shit like that. Yeah, we have to be prepared for anything that uh, we have not been enlightened on. Right. So, um, and, and then again, like I said, with keep trying to keep some offensive spells in reserve for when we get to the main temple and be able to fight our way to the uh, uh, to wherever the secret door is to to get out of it. Uh, matchups. Uh, what level is the lightning spell and the fireball spell? What is it? Uh, they're both uh, level three. Three? Okay. So that'll all work. Um, um, uh, Jaquelin asked, do you gentlemen need anything else to aid you in your fight? Mm. Well, come on, guys. Ideas. Well, it would be nice. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, but... A what? Um, I, I didn't catch it. He said a small army. <laughs> Well, I have good news, gentlemen. The main military forces will be busy with a, a slave revolt that we will be staging. Uh, most of it's going to be rumor, but uh, it'll force them to be looking for them and not be able to come to the aid of the priestesses. So, in other words, the, the forces they have there are the forces they have. Correct. They will not get reinforcements, hopefully, with it, if you are successful to free and escape then you should not have any trouble um, with any of the regular forces coming to the aid of the priestesses all right so um all right guys so i'm going to throw up some uh, come on man my, my i don't know about anybody else but my my computer's lagging like nobody's business yeah, it's it's um, what is this? The roll twenty is acting up. There All right, go. so I'm gonna throw up some. Uh, I'm gonna throw up some of the spells that I have available at my uh, at, and we've already talked about aid. I'll go ahead and throw that up there too, so you can look at it. While he's doing that, um, uh, Sir Chode and Afuego roll percentage dies, and Mad Chops roll a percentage die. Oh Lord. Oh. Let me yeah, go. Persephone's got eight also, so you don't have to waste a spell slot. She can do that for you first. Uh, of course, now I can cast it at the third level, which would make it make it ten points. But if we're able to get a scroll or a wand of aid, that will help. That will help out. So again, it's something maybe she can keep in her back, back pocket if we need it. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. she's uh, she's more concerned with uh, healing at this point. Uh, uh, so I've tossed, I've thrown up some, uh, I've thrown up some, uh, uh, some spells that I have at my disposal. Y'all see. Who's going to take the aid uh, scroll? Uh, do not cast it on me since I already have multiple hit point dice or hit point. Well, the, the whole cast. Okay. Yeah. So however so, you guys want to do it. I would say we need to cast aid on uh, Mad Chops, Persephone, 
No, no, who's going to carry the scroll and cast it? Persephone well, could, I, I imagine, right? She could. I, I could. She could. Uh, well, let Persephone do it. Okay. Uh, Persephone has a level four aid scroll. If uh, Father Scab would like to write that into her thing. Level That's four aid scroll? Yes. A fuego. Uh, they were not able to get you a chain lightning. Actually, no. Yes, they were unable to get you a chain lightning, but they were able to get you a lightning scroll level uh, four. Whoever so wants to carry that. Uh, mad chops. Okay. And then I guess this other one would too. Uh, they, were, they weren't able to get a necklace of fireballs, but they were able to get a scroll of fireball level three. Uh, are they, are they, any of those have multiple charges? Uh, the scroll of fireball, uh, i tell you what, uh, do, 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 do. Carquin, roll a percentage die. 50% or better gets two charges. Or two scrolls. I'll make Did you say Carquin or, or Carquin. Father? You were able to get two scrolls of fireball. Okay. Nice. All right. I was trying to All let right, people so... who didn't have spells roll and, and didn't have a lot of the... <laughs> planning part right so yeah. mad mad chops i guess you get the 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 fireball scrolls okay and the uh and the lightning scroll because those are all in your wheelhouse all right so who's going to present us to the uh the priestess well uh, i thought we said there's not going to really be a presentation once we get in we're just going to start fucking shit up is that is, right, was my right. understanding but so Going so, back to what we talked about before, where it would make more sense if uh, someone else had my kit. But that's the person who I need to be near. So, like, if it's Grangle, you've got my mace, my my satchel, and that way, as soon as a, you know a fireball goes off, I can grab my stuff from you and get into the fray. Okay, well, I, I'm perfectly willing to do that. I thought we were talking about having, basically having you guys covered in, like, sackcloth where we didn't have to take any of that from you. Hey, if that's going to work, I'm okay with that. Uh, looking at how this is going, I'm also okay with somebody else carrying my stuff inside the building. So I guess that would be my my. I, I would look at Jaquella and go, in your opinion, what what would work better for us to for one of us to carry Father Scab's kit or for the both of the slaves just to be co uh, covered in sackcloth uh, indicating that they're slaves but they're but it's also concealing their uh, concealing their weapons and armor <clears throat> you you would have to allow their feet to move so they would have to take their boots off or whatever and wear sandals but uh... Perhaps we can come up with something. Uh, f go ahead there, uh, Grangle. Roll percentage die. And you just need... Hold on a second. 40 to 100%. And uh, she is able to provide you with a sackcloth uh, and some for Father Scab and his chain mail to help quiet it down. And his okay. armaments and stuff. Uh, it's not in his normal configuration, um, and he will have to be, he and Persephone will have to be led by you guys by rope or whatever, and um, they will be able to walk. Um, uh, they're going to so have their... Essentially, it'll, we'll have the rope on them as if they are restrained, but they're Correct. not really going to be restrained. Correct. Okay. Uh, all right, so Father Scab, are you good with that? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Is it the the less moving parts we have, the better. So. All right. Um, okay. So. Uh, Mad Chops has got his regular spells in his repertoire. Plus, he's got a right. fireball scroll times two. Yeah. 
fireball scroll times two, a lightning scroll, and times then one, right. times, one. times one. And yeah. then Persephone has a, an aid scroll, fourth level. Yeah. Right. Yes. Which will mean when that, that's cast, that gives everybody 15 additional hit points that is cast on. So, um, uh, Jaquelin and says to you, gentlemen, gentlemen, you keep talking about hit points, and no one has asked me for uh, hit point inducing <laughs> elixirs. I, I can provide you with three uh, basic potions of healing. Three, level, three. Whatever level one healing is. I think it's okay. 2d4. And you guys can split those um, up any way you'd like. Um, I still have a few potions of healing. That I yeah, I've got three right now. Yeah, I've yeah. got... Hold on a second. Let me look at my character sheet. That's I'm the, supposed to have some. That is the DM's gift to you. <laughs> I was telling the goddess today, I was like, they got potions of healing and they keep using magic to heal each other. and Forget... Uh... Yeah, I actually have I have a I have a regular potion of I've got a vial of healing liquid that's a one d six, and I've also got a potion of superior healing that is eight d four plus whatever. Hold on a second, let's see. I'm gonna look at it. I want you to show me the whole thing here. It's 8d4 plus 8. So, so yeah. I've got that. And with you, so you see, we got three more potions of healing that probably ones. need to go to the squishiest people. So, um, like I said, I've got, I remember, but, uh, you know, that takes an action to drink it. So, it, yeah. Right. But still, if, if we need it, it's there. Right, right, right. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so you've got a couple Persephone I don't I guess we'll need at least one of those potions I'll take at least one be good okay <clears throat> uh, so the third one will go to still I guess that probably still needs to go to uh, uh, mad chops okay because you are the squishiest of us all you and Persephone uh, and how, much, how much healing does that do? 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. There you go. Pro I'm going to go ahead and slip on my slippers of spider climbing in case I need to do something like that. Got your booties on? Yeah, with oh, the elf, the the elf with the uh, rabbit ears. Right. <laughs> it's canon. We said it was canon. <laughs> uh, um, I sent to the group chat uh, the fireball spell that you guys got. There's, there's two fire, two scrolls of that. Yep, two scrolls of that. <laughs> I didn't ask how big the room is. I asked to cast fireball. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask how big the room is. I said cast fireball, damn it. Oh. So, um all right, so are we are we settled in how this is gonna go down? I'm good. I'm good. Good. So, again, just to reiterate, we're going to go through the door. We're going to begin to approach the altar. And who's casting what first? We need to know that. I think Father Scab needs to get some AOEs down pretty quick. <laughs> okay, in order, I think it should be Flame Strike, Fireball, then Insect Flake. Okay. Flame Agreed. strike, flame strike on the on the on the priestess. Agreed. 
and anybody, I mean, if it can encompass somebody else that's near her, fine. I mean, but, it, it's, it's a radius, so. But if they're so, I think you said it was a 20 foot radius, if that's so, then if yeah. her and anybody that else that it can encompass, fireball on the spiders, right? Yeah, that should kill most of them. Yeah, potentially on the spiders. And then insect plague on the uh, on the on the priestess and the uh, um, and the uh, and the other acolytes. Yep. Right. And then uh, if we go, we'll be dealing with the uh, with the two guards. I'll stay back with you if we go on the other side to flank with them. The guards. Oh, we lose somebody. <clears throat> All right, so so it'll be me. It'll be me, Carquin, <laughs> uh, Father Scab, and uh, Persephone. That's a nice uh, gift, Father Scab. Perfect. <laughs> that are approaching the uh, that are approaching the um, the altar. Everybody, everybody, good with that? Everybody agree? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and to give you gentlemen one last bit of advice, the head priestess at now? the main temple is significantly yes. more powerful, and she also has a what priestess equal to, if not, uh, just slightly, or equal to the priestess you're going to run into in the lesser temple, plus an additional one who is only slightly lesser in her power. Plus several other alkalites. Wei Wei, you can be heard. You need to reply to Wei Wei. Can you, you hear us now? Jesus Christ. Can you hear us? Yes. He can't hear us. All of a sudden he just died, and I was like, what the hell? Can you hear okay, us now? So, so. A fuego. A fuego? Yes. Okay. There's All a right, delay. So... Damn Chinese. So now, does Jaqueline does Jaqueline have any idea? The, is any has she ever been in the the Greater Temple? And have any idea how to approach, how to get to the the dungeon? <clears throat> so uh, she is. She said there was an associate, uh, an acolyte that was hit that was hit on the inside. She did. Uh, where would we find her? Uh, uh, I don't think she said that. <laughs> I don't remember saying that. There's a secret door you gotta find that leads you to the. Uh, it leads us to the to the docks where the docks. Where, where Triple D will be. Uh, will meet us. Oh, and by the way, I do have a uh, wand Thanks. of secrets that could tell us where that door is. There we go. Nice. All right, you can tell us how, tell us how to how to get to the dungeon and how to find that door, maybe. Uh, she cannot. She does not have the layout of the main temple. She tells you that she was never allowed to go to the temple. She um, was ostracized by her family before the opportunity had arose. Um, she had somebody who was able to sketch the lesser temple, but not the greater temple. Okay. Well, all right, ladies and germs, are we, uh, are we, uh, secure in our, in our, uh, ability to make this happen? I'm happy. No, yep. no let's do it. <laughs> no, but we'll do it anyway. One way to find out. Father Scab, would you like to give us a percentage chance of, uh, success? No, I'm just kidding. Hey, never tell me the odds. <laughs> I sent the TPK coming. <laughs> Whoops. Hopefully for us. Hopefully for another party. <laughs> okay, so you've gotten all the things, and uh, it is the day of. However, I will give everybody a two-minute break to go take a leak and get a refill or whatever you need to do, since we've talked for an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said it's going to be two days. Oh, yeah. We haven't done shit yet. Surprisingly, you guys didn't go. Well, okay, let's just go. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> uh, 
I, I was up for that, but I, I knew nobody else would be. No, I'm, I'm good with it. Good with it. I went and took a leak while you guys were hashing out the finals. And then I'm going to lay down some ground rules. Ground rules? There are no ground rules. It's hack and slash and stab. Fuck ground yeah, rules. That's, it's an option. <laughs> <clears throat> Talk about the plan, make the plan, decide on the plan, approve the plan, and then we find out new shit. Fuck the plan, let's just go. I'm not saying that will happen. I'm not, I'm not saying it won't. <laughs> All I'm saying is I'm with I'm just you fellers. A joke. <laughs> I am with you fellers. Interesting. It's winter time. There you go. Sir Joe's getting ready. <laughs> getting warmed up. Mm. Gentlemen, we have a tabaxi watching your performance. His name is Tom. Tomas. <laughs> He's resting on Mama with his chin up. And he's actually got his eyes open, which is funny, looking at the screen. Um, <laughs> he's actually watching what she's doing, but um, she's doing something different, but she's listening in. So, so yeah, good times. We had a couple viewers at one point, but it's the typical people dropping in and, oh, we don't see their faces. Boring. Yeah. All they're doing is talking about planning. <laughs> we'll come back. Yeah, because we're old and uh, we know how this shit goes down. Yes, we do. <laughs> All too well. <laughs> I actually gave you guys information that I hadn't planned on giving you because you were planning. So I was like, well. Oh. All right, we may begin. Oh, well, yes, your lordship. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, next week, um, Father Scab will take over. But because our planning took an hour and a half, there's a fair to Midland chance that uh, we will finish up and then transition. Two weeks. <laughs> yeah, two yep. weeks, right. <laughs> Depending on where we get, if, um, and I thought about this, Sir Chode, if, uh, like, next week, it's literally just transitioning out. Yeah. Uh, if we're not, if you're not needed to roll, I will uh, uh, just go ahead and transition your character, and then you can... Um, you can um, level up, level up on, point. yeah. Okay, that's fine. If that's all we're waiting on is you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to hold people up if it's not needed. <clears throat> we got uh, Sir Fuego who can um, at some point jump in and do like a, a gap, a segue. Okay, okay. We got everybody? At some point. I had to put in my food order with my wife. <laughs> All right. If you're not here, Bingo. say not here. I've never truly been all here. <clears throat> I will tell you this. Um, I have all the things that I need ready to go on like your character where you, where you guys go to get your character page 
and um, I can't even see your characters. That's how many things I got going on. What? <laughs> Don't be scared, though. What, so what are you? What are you needing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Just putting that out there for you. Okay. <clears throat> you line up in in your group. Uh, you are uh, on the. Um, uh, she was able to. Uh, uh, Jaqueline was able to get you guys in position with no problems. Uh, the House Despania is in the front because they are the uh, greater house, and they don't even give you the second look. So your disguises are holding, and your burlap sacks are in between. Um, we're going to do theater of the mind stuff here for a bit. Um, let me do this though. Uh, no, here we go. Okay. And, uh, as you guys are standing there getting ready to, uh, take the road Northeast over the frying bridge, uh, a troop, a, a flying bridge. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought he said the frying bridge. I was like, what the? <laughs> Out. Out fire. Uh, so uh, a group marches from the direction you're going to go and walks up to the house to Spania. And uh, you, you hear a few questions asked, and they ask for Calamar Ferris. And uh, you can't quite make out everything that's being explained. However... Calamar Ferris uh, is escorted uh, uh, back the way past you guys. We keep our heads down. And uh, what? Who? Who is Calamar Ferris? Calam Calamari Ferris. He's the guy. Who's the guy who's who kidnapped the the priestess? Correct. And uh, you guys surmise that he's being escorted back towards their estates to answer for the stuff that you left at his place which he uh anim very animated uh denied that that was a thing and um so he will not be participating with you guys oh too bad are, are you done squeaky Golly. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Carquin's wearing some poor girl out. The hot man. Uh, well, you got started early. I, I didn't finish in time. Uh, <laughs> we did start early. We started on the prescribed time, the early time. Anyways, so. <clears throat> change. There you go. Everybody should be able to see, yes? Yes. All right. Uh, trees. Let something. me lay out some ground rules real quick. If you, at any point, move your character to peek in a window, door, I'm assuming you did it on purpose, and shit will happen if it's a spot. Okay. okay. So, uh, no, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what you're saying is don't open and close doors repeatedly. Because <laughs> shit's going to happen. All right, the road northeast from the Flying Bridge, which spans the pitchy flow between Erlu Sinlu, the Nobles Plateau, leads to a broad and high gallery, a hundred feet and more wide and over a mile long. This is the Flying Bridge. Its walls have been carved by slaves over centuries so that everywhere the eye rests, a grinning demon face, feeding spiders, hey. gibbering manes, did we lose him again? Oh, nope, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Or scenes of disgusting practices or revolting landscapes of the plains upon which demons dwell to, will sicken the viewer. Skulls and orgy scenes are the typical motif used to border major reliefs. The sculpturing becomes more detailed, more disgusting, and more horrible as, you end, as the end of the passage nears. You see a squat building of yellowish rock. Uh, the Lesser Temple, when you leave the passageway. The whole space of Loth at Loth's A glows with a rusty red light, as if the very air contains phosphorescent particles, while certain rock strata and lichens add to their putrid greenish light. So the whole scene is fitting for a creature from the plane of the abyss. 
The roadway leads directly to the ugly structure crouching about a hundred yards distance from the entranceway. It too is ornately sculpted in demonic base relief for the building of the le is the Lesser Temple of Loth. Its open interior is pillared and has a large sacrificial altar and two flanking frames which resemble spider webs. All right. Whoops. And uh, I forgot to take the group. Oh, God. This has got to zoom all the way out for that picture, don't I? Almost. So you guys see the, as you walk out, the temple in the distance. And this is just a rough representation. This is the best I could get AI to do. <laughs> <clears throat> so you're 100 yards away. And give me but a moment. You know what? I goofed. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll do it this way. We'll do old school. I'm going to bring you all in one at a time. Just everybody relax for a minute. I was going to say, I see a black screen. Yep. I'm trying not to move, but damn it. <laughs> uh, once I get you guys in here, you can rearrange yourselves accordingly. Well, I'll let you know when... Okay. I can do that. I'll, wait uh, I'll just wait till everybody's in. Bottom center. Oh, there we are. All right. So, Carquin. You can't see Carquin? I need to drag myself in there. No, I did. All right. If, if you're bottom center and cannot see, let me let me fix it. I can't see nothing. Okay. Yep. I know what happened. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Where I fixed you in the other one, it didn't take, and it, that happens sometimes. So, uh, give me so just. So, Carcon, when we enter, I would say that uh, you and I need to flank Father's Cab and Persephone. Um, with a with a little bit of gap in between the two of them, so Mind the Mad gap. Chops can bring up the rear between the you know the, the see between the two of them. Is it agreed? Yeah. So, like you you'll go left, the Fuego will go right, Persephone and I will go straight, and then everybody who's behind us can go. Left or well, right? Well, now if Fuego was if Fuego and uh, and uh, Sir Chode were going to kind of drift behind to take care of the two uh, uh, guards. Did that get you there? Ch uh, I see the. I oh, see there the we are. All right, so then perhaps left to right. Perhaps. Uh, oh, Parkland okay. And Fuego can switch spaces. So, uh, are you good, Carquin? Sorry. Okay, you see everything? So. <clears throat> and don't forget, you can use the Alt key to straddle a uh, space. So, so Grangle, <clears throat> Grangle goes left, Carquin goes right, Persephone and I will go straight, everybody behind us right. will. And, and when you go through the door, man, you'll need to pull lead. the door. When you go through the door, you'll need to lead the prisoners in. Hold door, hold door. We'll need to lead what now? Uh, you'll need Odor. to lead the prisoners in, so you'll actually have to be here. Like that. Okay. So, okay. All right, so but when, when we get through the door, we're going to uh, first, essentially... First, 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 first wait a minute. Hold on. Get online with me flanking Father Scab, uh, Carquin flanking Persephone, uh, Mad Chops behind Father Scab and Persephone. Where there's gonna be, we're going to have a little bit of a gap between Father Scab and Persephone so Mad Chops can see. And Sir Fuego and, and Sir Chode are going to kind of kind of slow down and essentially be waiting as, as the shit goes down to engage the two guards when they come through the door. And that is a Sounds single good. door, correct? That is what? So that that's just a single door. It's not a double door. It's a it? it's a single door. Yes, I'm going to open okay. it up here and just say it's a it's a double door, but like it opens. 
right. two Wait, doors go swinging. Left, I'll go right. Sounds good. Uh, right. And the guard and the guards open the door <clears throat> and go ahead and uh, Father Scab, you can move Persephone and you as as directed. So you guys should be able to go through. All right, hold on a second. It's, it's getting really choppy. Is it? Okay. Take your time. I'm trying to try, trying to get set up for the, uh, to for your everybody front, else coming through. To your front is the uh, welcoming alkalite. She is dressed in uh, chain armor and uh, the vestments accordingly. Uh, Sir Carquin, can you go in? You stuck to, okay. Carquin, move a little to your right. Okay. Okay, we're gonna ease forward we, a little bit. Do, so we we lose, do we lose Squishy? Nope. Right. Oh, okay, here we go. I yeah, just brought everybody <laughs> in because um, I know everybody's dragging. So we're gonna ease forward a little bit so we can make room for everybody. Right. Yeah. I can you might want to move back to that doorway, Squishy. Okay, so uh, the door closes you behind you. The guards close it behind you. Uh, how far can you guys see? I can just barely see. I can see them. Yep. I can see yeah. them. They are and waiting for you to bring the slaves I see forward. that, too. But... What, what are you saying there, DM? Uh, they are waiting for you to bring the slaves forward. The Alkalite says to you, follow me with your offering to the great, great Loth. And she turns and walks away. All right. Okay, so we follow. Again, we're trying to keep up with our ranges here. I'll let you guys get caught up. I know everybody's dragging. Yeah, it's... Uh... I'm like... I'm the only one moving so far. Yeah, hold on. I'm sorry. It's just. It's okay. You you uh yeah. There you go. <clears throat> well, damn it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Fuego and um, uh, Sir Chota, you guys hanging back? Yep, we're gonna hang back because when shit tops off, they're coming in and they're gonna get beheaded. Uh, roll stealth with <laughs> uh. Roll stealth with advantage. I guess uh, I think stealth will be fine. I mean, you guys can creep forward, just look, act like you're kind of you okay. Just, just uh, kind of hang it's, back a little uh, bit. It's already too late. They're already they they're sticking to the yeah. plan. All right, no one sees Sir Chode, and uh. I'll give it to a Fuego as well, because you guys are just standing still. Fuego's not moving, so he's not clanking around. Uh, she has obviously got her back to you, and you're far enough away that these guys are focused on you guys bringing the slaves forward. I'm going to grab everybody. You tell me when to stop, and we'll move you five feet at a time. Okay, how far are we, how far away are we from ahead, the... Go ahead and measure it. Go ahead and hold up right there for a second. You guys see... Oh, yeah. Shit's about to get hot. <laughs> okay, so... Everybody roll perception. <clears throat> In the front group, the back group, don't worry about it. Actually, uh, Roger. Sir Chode roll perception as well. Just regular perception, no advantage. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm rolling with advantage. Sorry, it, it's all right. I made You're, it either way. Yeah. Uh, you guys hear the ah. clacking of mandibles? Wow! Wow! Look at you guys wasting all your good rolls. Um, uh, you guys hear your rolling. You you hear the clicking of mandibles and the skittering of spider legs above you. 
not like directly above you, but kind of like all around, as if the spiders are excited. Okay. All right. So, so do we want to move is, forward? Are these more? are these acolytes here? Um, let me see here. These are actually guards. They are okay. armored. They are armored like fighters. Okay. Are these bo those bodies right there? They're um. Actually, they were going. They do not exist. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Because you guys did something different. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, what? how high is the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling is 30 feet high. However, uh, as you look up with your vision, you notice the webs. And since you have looked to see the ceiling, you notice... Uh, give me a second here, sorry. A couple spiders above you. Now they're upside down, naturally looking down at you. But yeah, they're kind of moving around and kind of walking along with you, waiting for their meal. Okay. Hey, what's the radius on Flame Strike? It's a ten foot radius. Damn, twenty feet across. Jesus. So you can get them all. You can get all. Four of these guys. Are they 20 feet? Not quite. You won't get any of the spiders with it, but... Yeah, the sizes are a little bit off on the icons because a square is only five... Only 2.5 feet, but for the sake of this, we'll treat it as five and not worry about it. We'll just... It's the distance. Oh. I, I adjusted the distance so you could do your fireball effects and stuff, and we can adjust the size of them. Uh, let me... All right, so I'm having issues with trying to do a measurement when I, I guess I need to pick up a. It's actually double this size, right? Yeah. Why well, so... won't the uh, hmm. the little box yeah. go away? That's go. pretty close. Let's uh, let's take that. Oops. Come here. If you can move it just a hair. There. All right. I so don't... that's your flame strike? No, that's fireball. That's fireball. Okay. There we go. Uh, and how big is that fireball? So it looks bigger than it than you guys should actually be this size. It's a twenty foot radius. But so I'm a forty foot it. sphere. A, a, yeah, a, a forty foot spear. Sphere. Yep. So that's forty foot. All right, so, so my flame, flame strike is half that. So if you did your flame strike, it's you said it's a twenty foot, it's a ten foot radius. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Now my whole object right now is to identify who I think the uh, the high priest is. High priestess is. She is inside the fireball on the back side. I'm going to move the fireball in a second. There you go, Father Scab. That will be yours. Now, I'll set that to the side. Right. Father Scab, can you see my arrow? The High Priestess is waiting here. Okay, so if you drop your if you drop your flame strike around that. Now first Father column Scab is still still inside the burlap sack. Don't forget. So there's gonna be a split second. Okay, I mean, his 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 head covered. No, no, it was just a sack over his body, right? Is that what you're telling me now? <laughs> I didn't know. We didn't discuss how it worked, but yes, I will allow it. Right. Okay. So, uh, so Father Scab, essentially, you you measuring your if you dropped your flame strike about the center of that column. Throw your flame strike up for me, Father Scab. I can't find where we popped it up seven times later. I want to see if you have yeah, to. Yeah, I, I, I never put it up there for you because uh, there was a lot of... Yeah. 
There was a lot of stuff getting thrown around. But uh, here is Flame Strike. Uh, verbal, somatic, and material. Somatic is moving. Uh, vertical column. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can do it with the, the the sack on. So yeah, so if you dropped into the middle of that right hand column, you will so, be able to. Uh, so are you what? guys talking in here? No. All right then. So Father Scab is ready to do his thing. You guys had a plan. Execute your plan. All right. I cannot move that flame strike. You cannot. Uh... Why not? Oh. For some reason it says fireball for mad chops. That's not right. Well, it is, but it's... <laughs> too soon, too soon. <laughs> too soon. Fireball mad chops. Okay. Weird. Because that was under Father Scab's stuff. Wait, I bet this was it. What do you bet? Nope, that's Carquin's bullshit. I mean stuff. <laughs> that's a, that's a little that's a little small for. No, it's ten feet, right? No, ten feet no, it's supposed to be twenty feet, twenty oh. feet across. Oh, yep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It's cool, a ten cool, foot cool. radius, so. Boom. Is that close? Hold on. Yeah, somebody draw your right. measurement while I'm moving it, because I can't. Here, hold on a second. Should be. That would be ten feet right there from that from that edge. So yeah, you grab need to the, expand it. Yeah, grab the edge and go edge to edge for twenty. I think that's it right there. Yep, boom. Let's see, hold on. A little more. That's about oh, right, right there. Yeah. That's about right. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're good with that. So if you if you adjust it where it needs to fall where you can encompass as much as possible. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I I know how that works. <laughs> Please don't and kill me. Foot, and it is a forty foot column, so Right. Yeah, so it's uh, 20 feet across, 40 feet high, and uh, so it'll actually expand out. Of... <laughs> well, yeah, that's the question. Will it go around? It, it'll go around corners. It will not go through the roof. Okay. Right. So it'll it'll kind of uh, it'll go up to the roof and kind of spread out a little bit. And same thing on the floor. It'll spread out a little bit. No, that's not what it means. No. <laughs> so it's. It's it's gonna it's it's going to cut itself off at the ceiling yep. and at the floor. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. okay. And it's just a cylinder. Okay. So whatever is inside that cylinder right there is going to get torched. Hot ass. Okay. Torch it. All right. And it's uh, eight. And what level is it? So that is my uh, fifth level spell. Okay, so when you cast a spell, you uh, fourth level or higher. It's one d six reach slot level above third. Yep. So you're going to actually do ten d six of fire damage. I think he probably knows how it works. <laughs> <clears throat> just saying. Just saying. Um, hey, I'm just trying. I'm trying. I'm wanting so, as much as we can get. <laughs> Father Scab is um, initiating the battle, right? He is indeed. Yep. Just like we planned. Okay. All right, and Father away Scab, can you, she goes. Can you, yeah, do that, and then I need you to roll. Oh my God, uh, with advantage, uh, uh, stealth or deception or something like that, whichever is highest. I don't have a thing up, and I'm trying to get it to work because you're going to be casting a spell, and it's obvious to spellcasters you're casting a spell, but yeah, do. Whatever, whatever your highest stealth type performance or whatever, for, make it sound like yeah, make it sound like you're not casting a spell, but you're just gibbering because you're scared. You're not yeah. standing going, <laughs> I'm casting a fucking spell. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> okay. we have a we have so a room I... full of spell casters who are watching you, so you know. Yeah. <clears throat> And while you're doing that, I will 24 points. <laughs> oh, and so uh, they see you casting the spell, and they're like, what the fuck is he doing? And um, it's when I pull out my scroll of fireball and follow it up. <laughs> it's almost instantaneous. Uh, yeah, hang on a second. Like, Let me 
do a measurement because it may not matter. Um, okay, so uh, who'd we lose? There we go. Okay, so uh, the head priestess sees you casting a spell, and she don't, doesn't, doesn't know what it is, so she ducks behind uh, – hang on a second. got to move this so I can see the – yeah. Oh, fuck. Of course she does. She tries to duck behind the – the. Uh, uh, go ahead and move that again. I'm sorry. Uh, she ducks behind the altar thinking you're casting a spell directly at her, and um, – uh, she ends up getting caught in it anyways. So 24 points of damage. Uh, deck saves. All right, what do we got here? Actually, it's 9, 20, 21, 24. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're right. Yep, I can do that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm not drunk yet. Yet. I can math. <laughs> uh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Not that one. Oh, that was a fighter anyways, dumbass. Uh, fuck, where is it? Well, that's interesting. All right, well, we'll do this. I've lost one of my clerics. That sounds about right. All right, we'll just do... Oh, um, not one of the clerics... I just, I just need a cleric to do the deck save because it don't matter. <laughs> they all have the same decks. Uh, oh, well, why is that set like that? I'm sorry. Hang on. Fuck. Yeah, those are too far apart. We're going to have to get a re-roll <laughs> on that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you were supposed to not see it. Um <laughs> I did all these always uh, auto roll damage. Okay, cool. Go back. And one more time. One and two. Oh. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, that was a fighter anyways. That Bless was, you. I bet the fighters had the same. Decks, right? Oh, oh no, the fighter's got a better dex. Mm, shit. Where is it? Yeah, it is a better dex. Let me reroll the fighter, which was the f last one. Yep. Fighter still saves and takes half damage. All right, so. There. And. Now I have to do more math. That would be... Boom, boom. Math, math, math. Who would have guessed when I was going through, when you were going through school and high school, taking all that math, that you'd use more of it playing Dungeons and Dragons than any other time? I was lied to. Oh, the spider did not do so good. All right, and uh, in that circle right there, you burnt, because you went to the ceiling, you burnt some of the spider webs out, so they cannot uh, crawl around in there without crawling up on the rather warm ceiling. Zooming out. Drag this away. Boom. All right, that is the first thing. Roll for initiative, boys. Oh, what, our other uh, prepared actions don't go off? I gave you one. I mean, were they being yeah, cast I mean, we, at the same we time? We have to roll for initiative now. <laughs> you didn't I tell mean, me they were cast at the same oh, time. Damn. Michael. Oh, whoops. You, you don't have the uh, initiative up. Sorry. All right. Oh, oh, I guess you want to see how y'all fall out. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't have my guy clicked, but it still showed up. Sweet. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Who clicked fireball? Nobody clicked fireball. <laughs> Nobody clicked fireball. Yeah. It was the it was the little man. The wee man clicked fireball. <laughs> 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 
Fireball uh, goes next. <laughs> fireball goes I, next. I, I don't see where you see Fireball clicked. It was at oh. the bottom. I, it I, was, I, it was, oh. It, fireball had initiative. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get you now. I got you now. Oh, the Fireball had initiative. Okay. Yep. <laughs> fireball wants to play too. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to do the spiders next. Oh, I rolled the wrong person. Hang on. Bro. Oof. I bet, yeah, the initiative's the same, so we'll just... We'll just run with it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, giant spider. Why? Why can't I? Look. Please let me pick it. Please. There we go. That'll work. And then. So if you look at the portraits, I will give you this information. The portraits are based on the level of fighter. But you don't know what level is what. But I do, and that's what's important. Ooh, there are a lot of people on this turn order. Yeah, now you see why I said it's going to take at least two days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this is just the small group. I mean, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, we know there's more shit. But wait, there's more. <clears throat> and the turn order is going to take up a lot of space, so I'm going to sort it. I'm going to reset it for me. And Grangle, you're up. Oh, what's so, that? Where is that priestess standing in? What is she doing? What now? It's made of uh. Which tire tile. is she standing on? Uh, I'm seeing different pings. You're saying this one here, where the white ping is. Yes. Yep. Where oh. she's now in a square. Yes. For for maneuverability of, of stationing locations uh, is important. She is ducked behind this, and you can't see her technically, but you know she's there somewhere. She's ducked behind. Oh, the priestess. Okay. Yeah, the priestess is ducked behind the altar. Altar is like you know waist level, a little bit higher okay. than waist level, but. Well, so I've got I'm I close the distance on this one. Okay. Can't see. Uh, oh, that boy. is two Every, solid hits. Oops. Everything locked up on me. You got 20. Yeah, that was a good roll. Mm -hmm. Was a good roll. Damage. Uh, you guys should be able to hover over and see them. And if you run into one and you hover over it and you can't see it, just let me know. Oh, we got a problem. Oh. Houston, we have got a problem. Fuck. What? Every spider just got reduced to, to uh, the, the hit points. <laughs> and I tested this. The I know what you did. <laughs> yeah, and I tested this. I tested to go make sure these motherfuckers are independent. Hang on. That, oh, I, hey, I know that frustration because I had that problem with guards, and I made... I made a whole buttload of guards, and oh. after all that work, I thought I had them separated, but they were all sharing the uh, the hit points. Let's see what happens <laughs> when I do that. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Today. That one must be on a different... Nope. Nope. Uh, fuck off. Um, I got to do each one. Wow, that one could have been fine. All right, let's get all these guys back up to full health. Okay. 
Give me a second, guys. I am super sorry. I went through and checked this stuff, and ugh, makes me sick. Um, I know one of the spiders that was over here should have taken some damage by that was over here by these guards. Uh, I'm going to put BBB out here like that to mark where that spider is because I'm bringing him over, making him change. Because I'm going to make, you, you're going to see all these spiders because they are fucking pissed right now and they are coming for that ass. <laughs> so, let me do... Um, Spider hot foot. Copy. Oh. Paste. You're going to see a bunch of spiders. Just relax. I'm going to move them all. Just relax, he says. <laughs> right. Just, just relax. Just don't, don't pucker. Here it don't comes. clench. Don't clench. This is going to hurt. Oh, damn. Yeah, you, you ought to see the ones you're not seeing. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh-huh. All right, hang on. Now I got to switch modes. I try to be creative, and that's what I get. Yep. I'm just going to leave them where they are. <laughs> I need two more. Wait, what? <laughs> My bad. No, 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 no. Really, really, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless my heart. I think you've got enough. You've had enough. <laughs> hey, Mr. Taggart, you want some baked beans? I think you boys have had enough. <laughs> All right. So, how many spiders can you fit in the Temple of Loth? Always one more. Just right. one more. How many Hajis on a van was it? Okay. Yep. Just one more. Durka, durka. And I've seen that in action. All of them. <laughs> Every single one. Uh, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to. Why did that one get bigger? Because <laughs> uh, that's technically the size they should be. But I'm not going to make them all bigger because I'm going to keep you guys the same size. I have got to find out where this one went to. He is on the map layer. Okay, cool. And back to token layer and put him in his place. That's the size they should be, but you guys should also be double sized. So just keep it simple. I know uh, how big I am. <laughs> it's not a competition, Father Scab. <laughs> oh, but yes, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. Oh, man. Okay. Um, moving right along. Uh, Grango did his attacks and put a good whooping on her. And now our fighters are waking up from their sleep. Um, um, Goddess, Grango started the turn. Super. I need you to tell me when he starts his third go. When Grangle goes, he's already gone once when he goes three times. Yep. Yep. Oh, I love doing that. I was supposed to say it. Oh, you guys heard that? My bad. <laughs> and then it's going to be a Fuego's turn. The door pops open a fuego. And in runs the first one, but she comes in in such a way that you can't catch her. But uh, Sir Chode can. But okay. the next one, you get a free shot on this one. Uh, so a fuego and Sir Chode, make your tax of opportunity. Advantage. Yep. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, nope, it's the same. <laughs> well, <laughs> 11. Bleep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and change that back. And you swing as she comes through the door, catch her mid drift, and it fucking, she just takes one right across and, and, and gets a good, gets the breath knocked out of her. And uh, um, 
I, I guess you're using arrow search out. Yes. And you put one right through the chink of the armor in the back, underneath the uh, uh, shield arm, and uh, punches right in and just gives her quite the uh, wound. Damn. All right. Um, okay. Checking, checking. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me pull up our fighter. <clears throat> Shit, guys. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't say it. We talked about it in our plan, but uh, the aid spells. <laughs> so you want aid? Yeah. <laughs> <Aids. laughs> H H H H H. Uh, Sir Carquin, miss. I don't think you've seen that, right? Please tell me you didn't see it. No, you didn't see it. And Sir Grangle. Oh, oh, I gotta roll it again. I got the helmet display. Why is my? Why is that? Oh my God! <laughs> wow, she rolled a uh, twenty and a twenty-three. Jesus. Back, yeah, back to back. Um, so you took seven points of damage, Sir Grangle. <laughs> Sir Fuego. Uh, the hell is she fighting with? A toothpick? <laughs> yeah, right. it's, it's funny. She's She's got a long sword, right? Uh, mm -hmm. She's skilled in it like a fighter is. She's. Uh, I'll let you know. They're third level fighters, so they're fairly proficient. Damn it, that first... Uh, there's that one. Hang on a second. Yep. I'm trying to get a hold of her. Yep. Uh, that yep, will that'll do. That, that will one. do. You just hacked. Her. She don't even know what hit her. <laughs> she went fucking down quick. And the door is open. So uh, now it my is. Last little, I use my last movement. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, you can use your movement. But it won't help me because I can't close the door with movement. Never mind. Well, that depends. Which way did the door open? It opened in. I will allow you to push the door closed as you take ten step ten to here. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, they, well, I'll let closed. you close one one door. And you know what? Fuck it. I'll I'll allow it. Fuck it. It ain't. It ain't. You use all your movement to close the door. I'll allow that. Okay. You basically, uh, rush past it with your and. Push, yeah. your shoulder. Just shoulder check it as you as you walk by. You shoulder check <laughs> right. the one, and then you grab the other, and your movement's done. Hill, it's it's all good. All Works right, it is the uh, prophetess's turn, and um, uh, she stands prophetess up. Or priestess. Priest, yeah, priestess. Sorry, priestess, uh, one of them peas. Things were about to get crazy. Um. Yeah. I was going to say, our prophetess is with us? Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking game yeah, over. We're just going to finance it. Go. <laughs> Grab her and go. Shit. She casts uh, Insect Plague upon you guys. Uh, I need a DC 15 con save. And that's bigger than that. Uh, hold on a second. It's uh, is it? It's double that size. It's twenty foot rate. It's a twenty foot radius. Right, and I got a square one, so uh, it does not get. It does not get um. It gets from. It doesn't get a fuego, and yeah, it only gets you guys up front. So everybody, in this group. I mean, this is the twenty foot radius. Okay, so everybody add. Uh, there you go. So it's now it, it does get them back there. But it also gets their own allies. Yeah. So everybody, everybody on your saving throws add plus four to them. If you're within, okay. uh, hold on a second. If you're within <laughs> for a point ten, if you're within, you got to be within ten feet of me. Oh wait, yep. I, I see uh, that now. No, nope. I'm is good. The distance she can cast that. Was you it said a dex or dex? Uh, con. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sir Chode, you are outside of it. Yay. I recentered it. <laughs> you know, kind of like you guys would do. Yep. 
All right. Uh, you needed a 15. If you, if you, uh, Clark, when you had it on advantage. Oh, my bad. Yep. And it, it, you got a win and a loss. Everybody else so far has lost. I'm missing one person. I'm... All right. So what's the what was the what was the <laughs> save that they had to make? I am missing Persephone. Oh, all right. F uh, fifteen. Hey, Okay, Scott's 15. 22. So, so Mad, Mad Chops, Chops makes 16, it. 16. Grangle has a 16. 24, uh, 27 points of piercing damage if you fail. Uh, half of that is going to be 13 if you don't. If you if you pass. I'll be right back. How much? Big, daddy, big daddy scab. 27 is the max. And then half is uh, 13. 13. 13. Right, so Persephone collapses to the floor. Uh oh this is not good Hello? That's annoying as shit. It's annoying when they have the same spells as you. <laughs> I was talking about my phone. Oh, man. Every time I turn around, it's looking... I know. I know you were talking about something else, but... Crapping out. Uh, okay, so who's up next on the turn order? Uh, the priestess. Or the guards. Uh, yep, yeah, that's a fighter. All right. fighter whips out their crossbow oh, attempts to get a, 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 a no sword they got they moved up hold on there he is okay hodor hodor and uh <clears throat> he stays out of the um she insect. She. she yeah she stays out of the insects thank you and uh, she decides to shoot you with the crossbow. Um, was that insect plague? Is that a, a, a so is hit by an attack? So invisible barrier, magic force, and protection. Oops. Yep, you saw that one. Fuck. Retry again. Let me see, though. Let me see first. Uh, it's going to be a miss. The crossbow, he, he has trouble identifying you with the insects swarming about, and so he misses. Or she misses. Sounded sexist here. All right. And Father Scab. All right. So I'm going to cast Dispel Magic. All right. At what level? At the normal level, which means that I'm assuming this is this insect plague is it is a, the it's, normal fifth yeah, level spell. Correct. So that means that I got I've got to do a DC fifteen. Okay. Aha! Well done, sir. All right. Father Scab for the win. And then I'm going to... Um, take out my bone mace. And if I can, I'd like to move over here to Persephone. Uh, you can. All right. And Mad Chops. Right. Fireball. Oh, you know what's coming. <laughs> and I gotta measure that fireball because I'm not sure I ever got done getting it the right width. It's not. It should be another Keep going. Ten foot. Somebody oh, measure it for me. Somebody measure it so 40. I can it's measure for me. Forty. Hold on a second. That's coming. Here it comes. 
There we go. Mm. All right, hold still. Oh, door. There you go. That's it. Yep. That's a big motherfucking ball. Wait a minute. You need to move. Move it back a little bit. I, I, back I, up, I, Terry. Send it. <laughs> back up, Terry. Hey. Mad Chops always has the biggest balls. <laughs> Bring it down. Oh, no, I guess it's good. How about that? Ooh, but I can go over here and grab this one, too. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, let me take BBB out. Oh. There you go. Oh, don't look over there. No, no, you can look over there. That's all your guys' stuff. Oh. I brought it to here so I didn't have to go back and forth because I knew how busy we were going to be. We are 30 minutes into our normal playing time, and we just started battling. <laughs> <laughs> Big bada boom. So here comes the first uh, of the scrolls, just so I can save my points. Uh. And uh, you got two of oh. them at normal level, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's 23 DC 17. Uh. All right, spiders first. And that was a con save, yes? Dirty. Uh, Dick dirty. Okay, reroll. Oh, spiders did not save. Remember that. And then I've got the priestess. And she doesn't have good dexterity. Ooh, I don't think she made it either. Uh, fighters one, two, and cl three cleric. Okay. We'll do the fighters first. Uh, dex one, two. Ooh, and that twenty. And then fighter level there, and that's crazy. The the lower fighters had better decks for some reason than the higher fighter. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was fucking on crack or something. Oh, one. No, I just do one. Jeff, we're doing a dex fighter and a strength fighter. Yeah, but I did them basically the same, so I don't know what the fuck I did. Okay, <laughs> so <clears throat> spiders I'll no good. Them. Um. Uh, oh, the priestess no good. What was the damage? 23? 23. Uh, spiders no good. Uh, one of them ends up curling up on the floor. Oh, the rest of them take major damage, and bur you have burnt, because they were on the webs, you have burnt some of the webs away. Um, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, this basically fills that hole from floor to ceiling. Okay, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, you burnt yeah. that much of the webs away, so they have, even though they survived, they fell to the ground. Roll me a d6, sir. D6, d6, d6. Oh, come back, d6. Yes. Oh, six. well. Damn. That, that's a fuck you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fuck you and the horse you rode in on and the eight legs you have yeah. and I spiders will... and your children oh gone gone uh yeah I just he fell too uh okay now moving on to uh these ones hmm All right. Uh, moving on to the. She made hers, but did it matter? It did. What's half of twenty-three rolled up? Eleven, twelve. 12. The the young priestess. And a half, twelve. Young priestess is still alive. However, <laughs> all the fighters are dead. Well. <clears throat> so, La T fucking da. Fireball out of the way. <laughs> There's a bunch of fuck you very much. It just got. It's getting hot in her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Sir Chode. So this you, one. Oh, you this, locked it in the wall. I this one's know. still alive because they. She was not part of the fireball. No, but, but she was in the insect swarm and never took the damage. Uh -huh. Oh, like oh, I do apologize. Thank you, sir. Um, How's the uh, priestess up here doing? Well, you can see her, right? Not too good. Not too good. <laughs> is yeah. the priestess still visible? Uh, yes, yeah, she is standing. 
she is standing. Yeah, and she she's, is none, uh, <laughs> she's not happy. Judging by the bar, she's about half. <laughs> I'm going to move over to here. If we can go ahead and fuck her up, that'd be great. Right? I'm going to take a shot. What? One insect plague, and now you guys got a fucking grudge. <laughs> Yeah, that's our bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a hit. She takes a one in the shoulder. And and then I'm going to throw my uh, Colossus Slayer on with that one. Okay. Colossus Slayer? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Go She'll get an extra 1d8 uh, for one attack. Does it have to be a, a large creature? Nope, no, it just has no. to be one that doesn't have max health. Oh, okay, cool. All right, roll your one d eight. Do you get any bonuses to that or no? It's just whatever it is. I got it. So it'll be uh, six or oh, eleven. Nice. Uh, what's that bring her down to? Still alive, uh, I'm assuming. What is that? Two thirds. Yeah, she's uh, definitely not happy. A little more than two thirds, maybe. All right. And... Yeah, right at two thirds, I guess. And do one more. And that's going to be a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. Dang it. And that one catches right into the, uh, hits the, the altar and skips off in, and buries itself into the framework of the, what's left of the framework that's not burning. It's it's obviously burning now, but. Um, She's hurt badly. And now it's giant pissed off spider turn. Bring it. All right. How Don't far miss. can we move, Mr. Spider? Where did that go? Oh, that's right. I'm going to put this over here. There we go. <laughs> 30 feet. And uh, because I like being an asshole, I'm not telling you. <laughs> I don't know where going. Uh, oh, I... Big Daddy Scab. Hang yeah, on. you I just have... noticed that? Big Daddy just, Scab. You just now saw that. I'm going to put Big that... Big Daddy Scab. Well, like that, was it? Okay. That way I know the spiders can't, when they come forward, they can't run across that. Okay. So he goes to there. Cool. Um... He drops down on you. This one drops down on a fuego. Now I got to measure the others. And this one will drop down on to a Grangle. I mean, it's not that you're not going to see him coming, so. <laughs> oh, did I forget to delete one? I probably did. Hello, hello. Hello. Who did we lose? Fuego. He's back. He's struggling with his phone. Bullshit again. <laughs> Damn it. Do I get Do I get an attack of opportunity for that spider coming down? Uh, no, he was coming down the ceiling. He dropped down on you. That is his attack. He's walking down and dropping okay. on you. He, he's he's coming to bring you the fight. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Right there. Sorry, it's it's 37 spiders I got. I got them. Oh. Thirty-seven spiders, he says. Hmm. That's it. I would have thought more. There you go. And uh, so let's start from the south and work our way up. Uh, we are going to start with a fuego. Uh, the spider wants to. 
hit you with a, a web first, but he failed. Because that is only a 12, and the, his spidey senses were off, and he splashed the thing behind you. Um, and that Don't is his attack. Um, yep. I'm going to take him off so I can see you guys underneath. Like this. I'll do him like that. He's attacking. A, he's attacking Grangle. Uh, oh, he's attacking Grangle from the rear. Uh, advantage. So that's a, a wash. He's going for a bite on Grangle. Ooh, that's going to be a miss, I believe. That's a miss. It's got to be. There's no way that. Nope, 17. That's a miss. And Sir Chode, he is going to attempt to web it you. Uh, does a 19 hit? Yes. yes. I need you to do a DC 12 strength check. That's a straight strength check. So you would click on your strength. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> wow, that was ac actually, I didn't plan that. Oh, look at that. He did it. No, that's stealth. That's stealth. Oh, shit. Straight, click on your strength, the actual... I have like... a hard time reading. <laughs> <laughs> Not a saving throw, a check. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are stuck. <laughs> Do I get uh, an average? No. <laughs> uh, no. And you're still going to be stuck. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, well, actually, yeah, you probably wouldn't have been. Okay, uh, da, da, da. You are restrained. So, uh, there you go. Sir Carquin, it's your turn. Alrighty. She still lives, and there's more spiders appearing. But none of them have clustered up. It's crazy how that works. Yeah, crazy how they... You said the ceiling was 80 feet tall? 30. 30. 80? <laughs> and at, at the... Tw at you told me before we entered. Uh-uh, it's, it's 60 feet wide, 100 feet long, 30 feet tall. You you even said I had a person on the inside at one point. I'm like, what? <laughs> What's the? Yeah, you said we had to meet up with the uh, acolyte and she'd be guiding us. Yeah, it was the acolyte that stands in front of Grangle. Oh, you mean the one that stood? No, no, she's still there. Actually, funny enough, it's the fighters that went down, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, acolyte still lives. <laughs> the rest of them died. <laughs> So, I'm going to just turn into an Allosaurus here. Oh, he's so cute. He's so tiny. <laughs> I was hoping for the fire elemental. <laughs> no, I'm saving that for the big fight. Uh, ah. Is he large? This one? Yes. That one. Okay. So he's the same side as the spiders. Right. Gotcha. But he has a 60-foot movement and a charge ability. Okay. So, rawr. <laughs> you hit so the you uh, altar. Your nuts over the... Oh, okay. <laughs> the altar is between you and her. <laughs> I will leap the altar. <laughs> you will bang your head. How tall is the Allosaurus? Uh, he's a large creature, so... Uh, let's do uh, this. Don't knock yourself out. <laughs> uh, I will say you you have the distance to get around the altar and hit her from the flank, right? So yeah. I'm gonna move you just back where you were for a second. You can go this way and like that. So do your do your worst. Uh, she needs to make a strength <laughs> save. So that's that's or not. Why? That's not nice. She's she's a cleric. She don't have any strength. She's fragile. She's she's 13. fragile. 
13. Agile. That's a fail. And she is prone, yes? Yep. And, and... as a bonus action, I get a free bite. <laughs> she looks delicious. All right, send it. I gotta look through my very, very long list. Of... That's fair. Uh, Persephone is down. That's um, correct. I will skip her. Um, down is in dead down, or down is in just well, not down. She is. She's at uh, negative two. What is? Oh the... shit! Uh, in in wow, dang, Carquin. You, you, the you, well, that's you definitely bad. have issues with drow women, apparently. Uh, I thought we have established that I had problems with drow women. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, we did. Uh, so Persephone needs to do a saving. The way I do it is a saving throw, whether she has negative hit points or not. Uh, I have advantage because she's on prone, right? Uh, actually, dis not not disadvantage. You don't have advantage because she's prone. I thought you had advantage when you're flat when you're prone. No, I, it's weird that when, or is it just archery you don't have advantage? Yeah, sure. Either way, you uh, missed that that particular attack, and you, you only need one good attack. I'll tell you that up front, which you can probably see. Send your other claw. Let's see what it does. Send it. <laughs> uh. Creature has a disadvantage attack. Attack rolls have advantage when you're making it within five feet of them. Okay, go ahead. Roll, roll, roll again. Regardless, that that don't hit. Yeah. That'll hit. Hey. And <laughs> a scene. That'll do. That'll do. All right. You killed a very powerful priestess. And. Now, fuck love. <laughs> I don't have that much movement. I was uh, going to say, what are you doing? <laughs> you used all your movement to get to there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I will ready an attack, for a bite for the nearest, the first spider to get to me. Okay. <clears throat> and when the spider does get to you, I will allow you to make an attack of opportunity. You were saving that mode. Persephone, did she make a roll yet? A saving no, roll? No, I was going to ask, uh, do I click the death save button? or? Yeah, yeah, I think that does it automatically. Ooh. Oh, that's a success. It's uh, 10 and above is a success, 9 and below is a fail, I believe. And it, did it automatically do market for her? No, no, okay, but so I, you I still, had to do that. You still had to do it, okay. All right. Uh, Grangle. I need a tick mark. Ooh, let me see here. So we've got uh, got a spider to my left and acolyte to my right. Yeah, here you are stuck in the middle. <laughs> stuck in the middle with you. Uh, hmm. Grangle's going. Okay. <laughs> well, I've got. Got us. I do to have two you. attacks. So. Yeah. Go ahead. And you so, have movement, so if you want to attack her first and then spin to attack the spider, I will allow it. That's what we're going to do. See what you do the first try. Yeah. Come on, longsword. Show me some love here. <laughs> I'm supposed to show the longsword love. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, she drops oh, dead. Oh. Take your spin, sir. You swing. And uh, as you're swinging, you cut her, and you can see her falling back, and you just keep spinning with that <laughs> momentum to attack the spider. Oh, Mr. Spider. And that's going to be gonna be a hit for the spider. I was waiting for it to pop up on the screen there. It took a minute. <clears throat> and Mr. Spider, you took off a, a, one of his front legs, and he just rears back and, and hisses in anger. Right. Well, I hiss back at him. Hiss. 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 <laughs> so now it is just you and a room full of spiders, as best you know. Yeah. All right. It's my turn because the acolyte's dead. Right. Uh, there are no. Right. There are no drow. It's just spiders. 
All, all right, spiders well, all the time. Hack and slash this guy. There's one. That ah, missed. Look it. What is that? That was, yep. And there's that one. So a total of 12. All right. Wow. All that work for 12. Right. I mean, you took the first guard out coming in, so, you know, you did your job. <laughs> and, you know, that's key. All right, Father Scab, you have a spider and you have Persephone down near you. Yeah, so <clears throat> got to take care of the threat first. So let's go ahead and... Bone mace to the mandibles face. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, oh that damn. is going to be enough, sir. Yeah. Uh, he is kind of <laughs> crouched. Down. He's crouched down from where he lost a leg from Grangle, and you just come down from over top with a mace and just fucking bash what's left of his brains into the ground. <laughs> right. You hit my, my friend! What flaka? <laughs> All right. You have movement, sir. Uh, no, I'm going to stay right here for now. Okay. Mad Chops. Mad Chops. Right. Well, um, so we got full strength here, full strength here, full strength here. What can um, Mad Chops see? <laughs> that's that's the $50 million question. <laughs> I, I, I see this one here. Yeah. But uh, there's no other threats other than spiders, correct? Correct. That you see. Okay. <laughs> so what do you say, sir? <laughs> Don't um, be nervous. We're saying, about to be in deep <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm saying right there, Mad Chops. Right there. <laughs> right, right there. I'm staying where I'm at, and uh, let's see what I can use without too much of a fire bolt to uh, this fella here. All right. Let's see. Let's yeah, and that'll yeah 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 we'll do that. Oh, that oh Damn. shit! God. You guys are Man. angry today. What is <laughs> up? <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. Get you get you some of that, says Matt Chops. Yes. And uh, he takes a fireball it, right in that big fat abdomen is his, and he just just rears up and. And turns and looks at you and goes, Hiff. <laughs> Sir Chode, roll Damn. a strength. Roll the strength again like you did the last time. Were See if you break out of these webs. We What's that? Were we wearing cloaks when we came in? Since we were pilgrims or anything? Or no? Uh, You did have a cloak over your rest of your stuff. Okay, so if he shot a web and it hit my cloak, I just... Unbutton and drop the <laughs> uh, You know what? I will give you advantage on this strength say, uh, strength roll. How's that? Okay. That is creative and yeah. fucking I got you. I'm with you right there. Yeah. I mean, Father Scab's still exactly fighting out of a burlap sack. He has yet to take it off. All right. You are broken free. You drop out of it and step away from the spider. I would say, wouldn't the firebolt have burnt the webs? Uh, you didn't hit, uh, Sir Chode, you hit the spider. That's well, true, true, yeah. Okay. Now they had like a, like a rope. To Sir Chode, do you have two actions? Yes. All right, now you may make it, uh, an attack. Okay. Or whatever you want to do. Well, if I move away first, he won't get attack of opportunity, right? Um. I'm at rope. I mean, yeah. he... I figure at this point it's kind of like what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, engage action is an action, so you would lose an action. Yeah, you'd have to disengage, which is an action. So. Oh, got gotcha. you. Okay. Right. And you had your swords out? No, oh, you had your, your rope. No, that's my bow. Uh, yeah. So I mean, do you want to take a take a chance of him and get an attack on you? And no, 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 no. Because I'm yeah, just gonna shoot him from there. Uh, with, blank the face. with disadvantage, I found out that using a bow at five feet is disadvantage. Yep, unfortunately. But Cho they chose like, okay, fuck it, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and, give it, and give it more damage. <laughs> more damage. Me, Me damage. and my big mouth. <laughs> I'll see your bullshit and raise you some. Does eight kill him? It doesn't kill him, but he is severely wounded. 
Well, he's, I'll, I'll, add, I'll add that. Well, wow. You ah! should be making a morale check about now. <laughs> what about what about another one? <laughs> uh, I will. It all. Transparency. He has one hit point left after <laughs> after your one. <laughs> he's, he's, severely, he's severely wounded. He's, he's <clears throat> All right, uh-huh. and 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 because somebody already said it, we are going to give him a morale check. <laughs> oh oh! For a minute there, the one was hovering, but he only got a five, so he is beating feet. Go ahead and uh, take another shot, Sir Chode. <clears throat> Oh yeah, is it well, yeah. well? If he's running, will this be advantage? Yes, it will. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like you need advantage. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> so his low roll was a thirteen. His low roll was a thirteen. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. All right, uh, that spider's done. They spent they spent so much time prepping for it that they're high rolling now, so they can get the stuff done. Yeah, right. yeah, that's that's the story. We're sticking to it, yeah, right? Yeah. That, yeah. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. You remember, you yes, closed. sir. <laughs> that's what she said. All right, the oh, rest literally. of the spiders still think they can win this fight. Yeah, well, <laughs> good luck. Uh, measuring distance. Damn it! I hate that when that happens. The goddess is out there cutting down a snack for the DM to keep going. Um, Can't have the DM getting lightheaded on us. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty dehydrated after... What? (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Okay. Um, Cool. One at a time. <clears throat> they're gonna get they're gonna get some of that dino tail all right this one gets the bite oh yeah oh shit i got i got a little excited there hang on <laughs> all right Oh, that's going to be a miss. He jumps back just in time to save his front leg from your bite. That was a good bite, too. Yeah, (laughs) you jumped out and went roar. (laughs) Roar. All right, and it's your attacks. Oh, nope, I got attacks. I'm sorry. Hang on. Let me. I got one attack. Uh, This guy actually should be here. Sorry. All right, fail. I mean, I mean, I mean, I gotta roll first before I automatically assume failure. Um, one, two, and a thirteen will not hit. No. Oh, you know what? Who got hit by a spider? Spider bit somebody. Did Did anybody get bit by the spider? Take damage. No. Nope. Okay. It's me with the wall. You got webbed. That's right. Nobody got mm-hmm. actually bit. The bits failed. So I forgot that. that it, so I didn't forget. Uh, there's poison involved if you get bit by spiders. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Sir Carquin, do your worst. Starting from the on the guy on my left. <laughs> That's a miss. Apparently, are... I have a. I have a qualm about eating spider. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh, apparently you got over it. <laughs> it's, it's a claw. And That's you're going to need one more. At least. But he, You took a big chunk out of him. You got yeah. him in You got him in your teeth. You're holding on to him and you're clawing him at the same time. Oh, but he pulls away and loses a leg or two, but he's still alive, barely. So he's re- he's rethinking his uh, <laughs> life choices. Yes, he's he's having he's having doubts. <laughs> Persephone needs another roll. Ooh, that's a fail. Is anyone going to heal her? You got to give us a minute. 
<laughs> in time. In time. And uh, Grangle. I got a goddess. I got two ticks. Okay. Well, I got the guy right here in front of me here. He's a, He looks like a prime candidate. There we are. Swishity Wiggles swashity. Next. Uh, that is yeah. two solid hits, I believe. Yep. Uh, twenty-six. I'm glad you can see it because they haven't showed up to me yet. And he oh, is, is dead. You whack the fuck. You whack him off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whack him off hard. Play the game of whack fuck. Hey, uh, date night. Great movie. Fucking laugh yeah. my ass off the whole. Play the game through. of whack fuck here. Uh, whack fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, Fuego, you're up. <laughs> Uh, Grangle, you can All move. Right. Do you wish to move, Grangle? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, let me see here. I am going to move around here to provide more blocking for, uh, um, so I can protect uh, Persephone. Um, gotcha. Persephone and also dissuade the, uh, you know, try to draw the spider to me. Gotcha. Uh, Fuego. Hey. Apparently, I'm still going to be chopping on this guy because, you know, I can't do shit to save my life at the moment. Uh, shit. And that <laughs> oh. does it. That'll do it. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Uh, you have movement. <clears throat> um, I don't think you can make it to the other spider yet. Yeah, you can. Uh, but yeah, this one here? Yep. Yeah, I can. Yep, you make it, and uh, that hit uh, hits, obviously. Okay, so, yeah, 14 on him. All right, and uh, a Fuego is mad. Uh, he has a spider aversion. And it's Father Scab's turn. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, cast <clears throat> Mass Healing Word. Okay. So that'll be for myself. That'll be for Grangle. Mad Chops. Persephone and Mad Chops. Four people. Okay, roll it. And everybody will make their adjustments. Cleric doing cleric things. Twelve healing. Nice. Oh, that... 14 with Divine Strike. Yeah. So, uh, Father Scab slaps all of you in the face. And... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Stop being pussy. Damn it, I was full. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I am having tomatoes and um, mozzarella cheese with what's that drizzled on there? Um, uh, a, a glaze. Balsamic glaze. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. That tomato just seeded on my chest. <laughs> Left its seed on you, did it? Yes. <laughs> seeded, seeded right in the cleavage. Hey, if you eat it right, it squirts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Family show, sir. Uh, Fuego's done. Uh, Father Scab's done. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, Mad Chops. Oh. Yeah, so just make sure everybody, uh, yeah, Mad Chops, Grangle, Persephone, and myself should all have gotten 14. Correct. I'm back to uh, where am I? 53. I'm, I'm mostly, I'm almost fully healed at this point, so. Well, I hadn't been hit yet, but much appreciated. We still got a lot <laughs> of spiders up there circling our buddy. Go get them. Uh, I step to here and I'm a firebolt. Oh, no, he's about to die. Which one, Carquin, should it, should should feel the heat? I've heard that one. I know you heard. You How much that damage does your firebolt do? I, I want all of them to die, but <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't do a mass spell up there, and I gotta. Well, just I yeah. Let me see what I got. That'll be 
Do what you do. <laughs> Send if it, okay. one's dead, that means that's one less hitting me. Oh, that's, that, that was the idea. I'm just trying to see where <laughs> Carco saying, you do you, buddy. You do you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Firebolt's uh, my cantrip, so I can cast that all day long on this fellow here. And I'll do that. Saving my... Oh, Oh. Ooh. 15. 7. That dead. Cool. I think he only had four left or something. Not. Okay. Three. There you, there you go. He made it. Well, uh, Mad Chops made it really hot on him. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Sir Chode. Free at last. All right. <laughs> Thank God Almighty. Move up to here. Arrows. Got Dude. this guy. I saw two pinkish. This guy. The one down by the one down by the group. Okay. Uh, oh. I saw both of them go ping. <laughs> I was like, which one? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, get you He's some still of that, alive. buddy. He's yeah. still alive. Yep. All right. I'll go ahead and. He yet breathes. <laughs> and throw that on there. And he that? lives yet barely one hit point more. <laughs> you keep failing using that technique. <laughs> yeah, well, it's... I don't want to save it and then miss and not be able to use it at all. Because <laughs> that'd be my luck. Uh, I guess I'll my other one. I'll shoot at this guy. All right. Uh, and he takes one oh. right in the face. In the face. Where they like it. And he's using his front oh, four face. legs trying to dig <laughs> that arrow out. So, all right. Mm. Out of the spiders. Sorry, I got tomato seed on my chin. <laughs> you sure that's a tomato seed? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just moisturizing my beard. Okay. It is giant spider time. Bring it. Or don't. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with you not. <laughs> I'm good with that. Yeah. There it goes. Oh. The spiders are doing the maths, and they're not liking their odds. <clears throat> Well, when I find a spider that can do math, I will be impressed. Uh, go ahead, Afue <laughs> uh, Afuego, take a free shot on this one. Oh, he's trying to run away? Yep. Uh, Carquin, take a free shot on this one. Oh, they should have been advantage, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> now, Sir Carquin. No! Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> I apologize. Let me just go back here and uh, uh, you oh, yeah. ate spider, sir. <laughs> you just uh, got a mouthful of spider. You cut him in and half. And it turns around, I grab it by its uh, midsection and just crunch it and throw it to the side. Mm. I'm to hair in this. <laughs> God damn it, this fucking phone. I'm going to figure out why it's doing that. Yeah, he's dead. Whoever's pinging him, I just haven't got there. Oh. Okay. That's me. I was wiping t tomato seed off my face. Wiping seed off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's Spiders right. have disengaged. Sir Carquin, would you like to re-engage? Oh, yes. Yes, I would. They are still yeah. on the ground at this point. They are trying to head towards the walls and stuff and climb back up. Uh, this one can fail me out of strength safe. I, I like uh, the way you use positive re and whatever they affirmation. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And he did. Can... Oh God, he rolled a net one. Oh. <laughs> uh, so get you a... just you bowled him over on his back. <laughs> yeah, get a bite with advantage. <clears throat> really? Seriously, dude? I give you advantage, and you just just bite him. <laughs> <God. clears throat> 
bear bite. <laughs> and bear claw. Missed, and the last one missed. Wow. You hit him so hard he rolled too far away from you. <laughs> Turned him into a roly poly. What? There it is. He's prone. <laughs> oh, that's right. You get, yeah. Okay. I and uh, that'll do. He's dead. All right. It is now Persephone's turn. And what would Persephone like to do other than stand up? <laughs> Cheat the cobwebs out. Yeah, it stands up, <laughs> takes it off, looks around. What the hell happened? Where'd all these dead and, bodies uh, come from? <laughs> yeah, does anybody need anything from her? I mean, do we still want to? We want to save that uh, age scroll. I think we're. Yeah, we want to. We want to save that. Yeah, save, save that for. Yeah, next I'm gonna room. Clear her successes because she. Uh, she has hit points now. How far, let's see. Crap, I got to shrink the map a little bit here so I can do my measurements here. Let's see. And uh, what, um, whatever Persephone wants to do, I saw somebody measuring. I don't know if she's moving or she's just kind of hanging out. No, no, no. She's going to stand fast. She's going to stay next to me. Okay. 30 feet to that and, point. And she gives you a hug because she knows you're the one that healed her. And, and, and what does she say to you, Father Scab? What does she say? Yeah, for you healing her. She gets up and thanks you. How does she thank you? Well, excuse me. <laughs> 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 uh, maybe later. Blood 3000. So now it's my turn, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since, all right so since you guys went fucking south with how uh all right so i go Were we ever north <laughs> so 30 feet sure we say south of that line always to there and then i misty step to there i need you to roll me a percentage die a percentage of time? Yep. Teleportation stuff. Uh, well, come on. Give me the freaking... And you succeed. It works that time. Outstanding. You, you were there? Okay. And uh, <laughs> right. I still have my attacks. <laughs> Uh, so Grangle rolled a 91, which just worked. <laughs> just so you know, it's 91 to 100 works. <laughs> Ow. Uh, that's an, how many is that? 20? Oh, shit. Uh, 31. 31. 31. Doink. Uh, you cut him cut his abdomen separated from the rest of his body and he thrashes for a bit falls over and, and just collapses dead and uh, I turn to the other one and roar at him oh he's already running oh and by the way you had advantage not that you needed it <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, hold on just one second everybody hold what you got do your measurements and what have you Oh. <laughs> Let me see here. Okay. Enter. Player number two. Uh, give me just a second, if you don't mind too terribly, and if you do, too damn bad. Do, 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 do. Bing. And then... No more and then. No more and then. <laughs> Wait, did we yeah, just yeah. gain another person on the thing? 
Yes, because more people just came nope. in up here at the at the door at the end of the uh of the hallway here. Yeah, I see that. <clears throat> All right, uh, descending and all right, Grego, you were doing something still? Oh, you were done. Oh, I'm I'm done. I'm. A fuego. Uh, you hear Grango go, but wait, there's more. <laughs> well, I can barely make out the spider right here. I use my rush, my ring, and my movement, which will give me fifty-five, and I rush to here, and I swiggity swag this fucker. And he is trying to climb Maybe. up the pole, basically, that you're 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 trying to cut him down from that pole, so uh keep there it coming. It is. That'll do pig. Uh, I'm pretty sure that does it. <laughs> That'll do pig. <laughs> yep, you, you got him. Uh that last stroke took his guts just spilled out onto the ground below you, which enraged the drow here. And uh, they're still trying to assess the situation. Father Scab. <laughs> it's called you're about to get fucked. Yeah, this is you're about to take a <laughs> take a high hard one. So I'm going to uh tell Persephone to follow me and then I'm going to dash to here. Okay. Uh go ahead and move Persephone now and then when it's her turn just tell me she's she's already done. All right, well, well I can't see her now. Where oh, okay. Go? <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oop. All right, Mad Chops. <clears throat> you dashed out of your vision, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck? What do I got you set as? So who's this up here? Why is your right. low light so... It's almost, it's almost like he's got a torch or something. Well, he does technically, but in here okay. he doesn't need a torch. We're gonna fix it. There you so go. Let's make it where we can see. So let's uh, so I move uh, here, and then I need my I need my my ball, please. Uh, little ball, big ball. Big ball, big ball stuck in the wall. There you go. Give, me, give him the big ball. He wants the big ball. Got that big ball energy. Big ball. Big balls. I got big balls. <laughs> oh wait, what? <laughs> that, yeah, that's everybody. But he's got the biggest balls, balls of them all. Of them all. <laughs> he's, he's bringing the heat. Sir Chode, yeah. I lied to you. It's going to take three days. <laughs> this was the, the, the warm up fight. This was to stretch you guys oh. out a little bit. Ooh. God. God. God, boy. Damn. Shit. Damn. <laughs> There you go. Well, they're still assessing what's going on. They're getting lit the fuck on fire. You blew your load on that one. <laughs> Woo! Let me, let, me talk, let me tick off one of my spell points. Oh, you, this is a spell, not the... You didn't use the uh, scroll? Yeah, I, I still got one scroll left. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, tw DC dex, okay. Uh. And then, uh. And then, Ouch. <laughs> uh, I gotta do that one. Was it 50, yeah, 15 or 29? Huh? Jeez. Fuck, man. That's a... crazy. That ain't good. Uh, I gotta... Yep, okay. <laughs> they come running oh. in to go, what's going on around here? Oh, shit. <laughs> Boom, bitch. I'm Get out of the way. Better. Wait a minute, Rich just got burned. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think. When I do that, dunk, dunk. <laughs> Keep them going. <laughs> Keep them going. There you go. Yep. I'm gonna double, double up. Oh, so close. All right. Uh, fuck. This went about as good as I expected. Okay, so. Uh, yep. Uh, there we go. I think you can remove the spiders from the turn order. <laughs> oh, yeah. I sure can. Uh. 
Okay, so Mad Chops is done fucking around. And they're done finding out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this one work. is pretty burnt up, but uh, she is a zealot, and she's just trying to determine who she's going to attack. She would really prefer not to attack the dino. So she goes for Sir Grangle. Uh, what level is she? Yep, okay. Uh, disadvantage. I'll just roll twice. It'll be easier. And she misses. The smoke she's... from her burning eyebrows <laughs> yeah. got in the way. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. And Sir Chode. All right. Well, since uh, Mad Chops took care of most of that. Uh, Get the priestess! Down. Get the priestess! <laughs> I'm moving down here, and I'm going to clean the spider webs off my cloak and put it back on. Oh, you don't need that cloak anymore. I don't care. I want it. What? 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 Oh, okay. Reese's is here, so she can make a nice failure of a strength yeah. roll. Oh, uh, 15? Okay, that passes. Okay. I was like, uh, and she's got a minus one in strength. She just rolled good. I was like, oh, I might have a win. Oh, what is that? You gotta be kidding me. That's a miss. That is a horrible. Yeah. She's still up? Oh, yeah. She didn't even get hurt. She ducked and dodged them teeth. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Dodge no. that. No. <laughs> and, and funny enough, that claw was just enough to take her apart. Split in twain. And she is done. And she's off the turn order, too. Yep. So guess whose turn it is now? <laughs> Still mine. <laughs> oh, you can't. He, he spun around and came back for it. <laughs> yep. He almost he almost did a kill steal on Hold you. On. But... Uh, you hit you hit the first time. Oh, my bad. Oh no, actually you didn't. You hit the second time. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. I did. I was so excited that it was five points. Well, he did points. do a kill steal. No, no, no. She's got two left, two hit points left. So Grangle oh, gets to oh. it, gets to take the win. Okay. What? You have advantage on hitting. No, no. Uh, you had advantage. <laughs> yeah. So does. Oh. He's no. She's facing him. You had advantage. He doesn't. And the first yeah, one does. was plenty. And Grangle <laughs> just goes to whacking like Molly Hatchet. And so. Uh, you have successfully cleared the lesser temple. Um, the other temple is about 500 to 700 yards away, so um, all your booms and stuff shouldn't attract too much of attention. Uh, they came through from behind this uh, <clears throat> uh, tapestry of uh let's see here i'll pull it up um tapestries. it's an obscene yeah. trap tapestry at the rear of the temple it screened a pair of double doors hmm i go up to the tapestry and rip it off okay and you see the double doors behind it um i believe i can yep boom <clears throat> all right so with the very cursory glance. Is there anything that these uh, drow have on them that looks useful? Um, they've got uh, the poison bolts for their crossbow. Uh, any, they... any of them have a map of the uh, larger temple? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, they do have uh, coin purses and such. 
Yeah, I'm, I don't care about any of their money. I'm looking no, for potions. Potions oh, one. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We listen. We're that's that. We're not looting at this point. Well, I mean, if you're looking for potion stuff, you're going to go into the bag, and the bag has. No, no, no. I'm just. I'm looking for anything that is obvious. Okay. Like uh, if he has a flask on his belt, I'm going to grab it. Uh, let me see here. But if he has a satchel or a bag that I got to root through, I'm not messing with it. Are there any? Uh, are there any other cloaks that are still usable? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, no, they've <laughs> all been pretty fire. well burnt up. Um, Everything's a little burnt. Let me see. How many, uh, how many poison arrows per person? We can call this Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's done, man. All right, who's mm-hmm. looking? Who's looking at who? So I'm, at I'm standing next to this guy. I'm just looking at. I'm looking at this guy right here. All right, let me switch back to you. Don't forget about the head lady down here. The head lady might have some. Why am I unable to That's click sure. this all of a sudden? If they have any coin purses not tucked away, I would be grabbing those. Um, if if you give them a quick pat down, you're going to find... Uh, somebody roll me 2d4. 2d4? Yep. Hold on. Coming up. Um, oh, never mind. <laughs> there you go. Five, you're going to find per person you... Per drow you pat down... <laughs> You're gonna find <laughs> five. Fives. How does that happen? Five <laughs> platinum pieces. Wait, it's meant what? to be. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Five, uh, five platinum pieces per. Yep. Per so drop. How many people do we pat down? One, two, oh, three, one. four. Yeah. So well, there's five out. over here, and there's like about four more down there. Looks like nine total if you check them all. I got 60 feet. I'll go gather them. <laughs> so not, nine times five is 45, right? So 45 platinum pieces. Mm-hmm. Sure. Six. There's six up top. Okay. So so 10, so 50 platinum pieces. Sounds good. Okay. Um. What? It looks like Cho decided to search the head priestess. Uh, make it an even yeah. hundred platinum pieces, and four, uh, two, two, yeah, two, uh, one hundred gold piece gems. And I don't have them right now, so just put that down. All right, uh, I'm not really. I don't, I don't care about any of the money. I was just looking for anything obvious on their belts. Right. Uh, the um. <clears throat> head priestess, since I saw somebody down there by her and I, somebody asked about it, she All has right. a very nice mace. All right, so I grab the mace and bring it up to Father Scat. And I'm so trying to, or whomever might want it. The cross hand crossbows and their swords are actually quite nice. Worry about all that. <laughs> oh, so uh, I think we're just going to worry with the mace, right? Yeah. And uh, she also we're had a that. she had a staff attached to her. Staff. It is a um, a staff made of a material which is unfamiliar. It is red and it is twisted and bent like like a diseased tree would be. So let's assume that whatever it is, it's probably evil. So let's handle this stuff it's with care. Time. Yeah. Um, can Persephone can Persephone handle that mace? Hey, hey hold on, guys. Uh, Amherst is saying hello. Let me uh, take the mic off. Yep, we heard her. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Go away, you okay. bother us, little girl. <laughs> Hi, Amaris. Good to see you, baby. <laughs> okay, I'm back. All right. I am trying to. Oh, see, I got distracted. Um, All right, so we got 100 platinum pieces, two 100 gold piece gems, a mace that we have no idea what it's. Uh, it's a nice mace. We don't know what its capabilities are, and a staff that's red, twisted, and bent. Father Scab, roll Arcana for the mace. To see if you can kind of sort it out. 
Right. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. But I'm also asking: can, Is she physically capable of wielding that that mace? Like, like strength wise? Yeah. I don't see why she wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I, I have no clue what this thing is. The match ops roll. Oh, Arcana. Yeah. In woman two. Arcana. I am trying to get back to you guys. Oh, I had that. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, you, you're not. Uh, you're. You are unsure. Uh, why can I do anything? Because oh everything's God. all of a sudden choppy as all get out. Yeah, it is. It's real bad. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So it looks like a really nice mace, and it looks like it's probably a magical mace. But you are unsure what kind of magic uh, or anything. Uh, Mad Chops knows that it appears to be a standard. You done, Carquin? Carquin. I wonder. Oh my God. Could I use my uh, Smith tools to maybe figure it out? There. I'm gonna mute Carquin so I can talk over him. I'm, all I could hear is bang, bang, bang for a bit. I let him get settled. Uh, <laughs> He keeps falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> help me, help me, help me, baby Jesus. Um, my, my shoe. My shoe. <laughs> uh, so uh, the mace looks magical to uh, Mad Chops. He just does not know how magical it is. It looks like it's made out of uh, the handle is made of a very fine wrought wood. It looks very old, uh, ancient, perhaps passed down member to member of the family. Uh, the uh, mace part of it is um, uh, looks like it is inlaid with perhaps adamantine uh, knobs sticking on top of the main ball. So it is probably a very strong mace. He guesses, mm. but he can't tell you. He can't tell you if it's plus two, plus three, plus four. He don't know. What about what about Grangle? Grangle takes a look at it too. What's Grangle know about maces? <laughs> I'm a freaking fighter. I'm. I'm... It, it's a really good mace. <laughs> oh sure, a Fuego. Fuego says it's a really good mace, but the magical properties he is <laughs> unsure of. But he is sure it's probably <laughs> magical, and he agrees with Mad Chops. Perhaps, <laughs> okay. perhaps taking <laughs> time and studying it will really. Re re okay, so I, I take a look out the door. What do I see outside the door? Uh, you are looking to a set of stairs. Can you go in there? There you go. And there's no stairs there because I didn't put them in. A uh, set of stairs that lead down. Okay. Just be careful, boys. Could be more. But wait, there's more. Yes, did we have to go out back out the front door to get uh, to, to be able to go to the other? As far as temple? you know. <laughs> it's an open door and I can't go through it. Yeah, I noticed. I don't know what's stopping you guys from going through it. Here, hang on. Is everybody wanting to go through? Through this door? Yeah. I mean, you can might as well do this. Yeah. Might as well at this point. Okay. Just, uh, fuck. It is so choppy. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, everybody hold still. Uh, one group. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is everybody in there now? Yes, dude. Okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you could tell that because it is frozen on me. I know it, it, it's frozen at different levels for everybody. So this back room has a set of stairs that go down. Okay. And I didn't build the down because I just didn't do it. Yeah, that's okay. I really didn't expect to be able to talk you guys into a fight. I don't know why. <laughs> Well, you expected diplomacy? <laughs> you know, sometimes you guys surprise me. <laughs> I, I am going to uh, I'm going to drop out of the game and come back in. Okay. Uh, while he uh, drops uh, out of the game. I am completely locked up at this point. <clears throat> I will describe what's going on. Uh, you see stairs that lead down. Do you guys wish to go down? Sure. And you guys sometimes cut out, so if you are planning on going down, <laughs> tell me again. Down, down, dooby do, down, down. Yes, no, doobie doobie fuck off. Down, dooby do, down, down. 
Come on. Yeah, well, I think we're all going down. Okay. Um, down with the ship. You go down, and you find uh, there are storerooms, a kitchen, and you guys, I assume, are going quickly through these. Yes, we're not yeah, we're... spending a whole lot of time. <laughs> you find a storeroom, a kitchen, a refractory. There are cells that hold sacrifices. Three current victims are inside waiting to be sacrificed. Uh, a slave barracks, and there's a dozen slaves. Currently in their they already resting. had sacrifices available. <laughs> yeah, but we had to present ones of our own. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Uh, the, the yeah. Scam artists. <laughs> uh -huh. There is a suite. Uh, there are six rooms at one end that are much nicer than uh, the rest. And then there is a barracks for temple guards. Hey, uh Kark want to ask if ask the the uh, sl uh the slaves if uh, one of them was Neolum. Uh no. He is not in this group of slaves. Well, the Vana Alvaro. Is there a linoleum down here? Linoleum, <laughs> where are you? Is there a linoleum? <laughs> linoleum. Linoleum. Is there any linoleum down here on the floor? <laughs> Linoleum Johnson. <laughs> there, I, I unmuted Carquin. I'm sorry, Carquin. I had to mute you so I could explain because your little microphone was banging. Yeah, my microphone stand's having issues, so I'm gonna have to get a new one. Um, so, um, our uh, Persephone would like you guys to free all the slaves and the others and let them gather weapons upstairs. And I have no yeah. problem with that. Well, yeah. Nope. Um, you... Are there any? Are there any slaves or anybody down here who would be willing to accompany us to seek revenge on their captors? Uh, they do not want to go to the big temple. That's where slaves go to die. Then I will mutter some insults under my breath, and uh, that is all. Then be gone with thee. And so they run up the stairs and they snatch up weapons and whatever armor they feel they can get pretty quick. And uh, <laughs> I'm looking at the the memes. Oh man! Uh, <clears throat> and they are out. Do we think we have time for a short rest? Uh, I doubt it. I mean, we don't know how long it's going to be before somebody shows up here looking for. The people we just killed. Fuego, do you want to use your spell in the room for the hidden passage? Or was this the hidden passage we think? Yeah, I'm trying to help my daughter no, 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 at the no, no, moment. No, Sorry. No, no, the hidden passage in the, in the, That's the in great temple. temple. Yeah. Oh, in the, okay. Because that, yeah, that passage is supposed to lead us to, uh, to the docks. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, is Sir Carquin going to continue to be a dinosaur? Uh, for an hour. Okay. Well, if we leave the building, I'll turn back. Like, or if okay. we decide to take a break. Me, yeah, Abby. Abby. I forgot. All right. So all those, uh, all those other drow came from down here. Did you say that there was? Like barracks down here? There is. Um, barracks and uh, some individual rooms, probably for the priestesses. All right. Yeah, let's uh, do a quick check of these priestesses' rooms. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking for any, any obvious... You know, scrolls, uh, wands, potions, stabs. People of interest. <laughs> and I'm... Let's, see here. Uh, Let's back this off. That's what I'm looking at here. Um... Anybody feel like setting this place on fire? Yes, but uh, uh, let's go yeah, but... left first. <laughs> yes. Uh, each of the rooms have uh, some minor. Uh, they, they how how long are you guys going to search? Let me ask that question. Just very quickly. 
Walk in, look for obvious expensive shit, and walk out. Yes, scab is is just walking through, rifling through things, looking for any anything that looks like it's a magical item. Like I said, a staff, a wand, a potion, a scroll. I got you. Or a map of the uh, <laughs> a map of the <laughs> of the larger temple. Uh, you don't seem <laughs> to find I'll leave that any... to other people. I'm staying in my wheelhouse. I uh, you don't find anything of significant value inside the individual rooms. You do find a couple uh, purses with uh, again about twenty thirty platinum pieces. All told, at thirty platinum pieces to the total. Yeah, but you don't find any special magic items or anything like that. All right. Do, do I find do we do we find any maps? You do not. Okay. All right. Do we find a door to the outside? Not down there. All right. I say we send the dinosaur through the upper door first. All right. Uh, let me grab everybody. Uh, I'm frozen again. There we go. Whoops. Uh, when you say upper door, do you mean like into the main chamber? Yeah. All right. Boom. I think seeing a dinosaur <laughs> enter from the lower levels is going to make make anybody out there uh, take well, a dump. Considering that they're drow, they might think I'm just a demon. And well, considering so, that we just killed everything, <laughs> I'm hoping there's nothing there when we come when, as we get back in here. Yeah, I, no, I'm with you. All right, I, I just don't want to take any chances. And, and uh, Carpenter doesn't this, find any uh, living corpse souls. of a woman. I I stomp her one last time before hopping over. Wow. Okay. okay. Wow, it's a you got real issues, brother. Uh, before I pass the altar, I want to do a quick check and see if there's any uh, secret compartments or hidden things. On top of the pass altar is a beaten, uh, beaten gold uh, plated uh, bowl that they would put offerings in. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that. I don't find any secret compartments, you do hidden not. doors. You do not. Just a blood blood channel, you know, that would fall down into a a golden little bowl that they would drink. The spiders would come get some blood out of. You know, the spiders you killed, murdered. All right. So I guess it's time to make our start making our way to the. Uh... To the uh, to the big uh, big temple. Going to the big house. Okay. Uh, gather everybody. Gather up. Let me move some bodies. Go ahead. Just grab me. I'm trying to help my daughter real quick. Yeah, I, I noticed you were not moving. So. Yeah, she got her hair tangled in a comb somehow. Oh, <laughs> the worst. Oh. Yeah, I'll revert back before we leave. I've been there, dude. I know. <laughs> there we go. Just leave that alone. I'll take care of that in a minute. I, I'm going to have to figure that out. But at least it comes out. <clears throat> I just broke the comb to get that out. Dang. <laughs> All right. Somebody That's is okay. on top of somebody else. I'll help you later. Uh, All right. Sorry about that. Nope. <clears throat> That's fine. Where's we is? We is. Shit. Where is we? Where's Where's down Everything's dark. Over? We're we're we oh. down at the door at the at the where we came in at. Oh, okay. All right, top Ooh, shit. left. Uh, when I top get you there. Left. When I get you there. Boom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. Cool. So, uh, if you remember, <laughs> uh, Father Scab is carrying. He's got light naturally, so it's it's kind of fucking things up a little bit. Um. In fact, let me turn his light off just a second. There you go. There's that little red glow. I figured out how to make it do it. Ah. And, uh, of course, you guys' own vision will mess that up. Actually, is Persephone doing it, too? 
No. Stephanie doesn't have any vision. I need to give her at least vision. There we go. Okay. And uh, you guys are crossing the open area, headed up to uh, my little ship-drawn area up there. And uh, you may you may traverse as you wish. Uh, here, uh, these are little breaks and cusps of mushrooms and different stuff. Most of it's not high enough for you or high enough for you to even hide behind, as a group, obviously. But uh, individually, it's also difficult. So which which are we supposed to be going southeast to the? Uh, if you see the black east, this why am I not pinging? Because reasons. Yeah, these are the stairs that lead up into the uh, thing, right? So you guys can get well, to that I point hope you're you all can... ready because we're probably going to be in the fight for our lives. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to be in deep shit. Okay, you are standing about 50 yards away oh. from that. Wow, uh, ignore that was nice. The, ignore the people standing there. They're not there. Can we uh, take two minutes? We can. And then come back, and I will start the main thing. Or at least we'll discuss it. Oof. Nice. That was some AI-generated stuff. Uh, putting the actual yeah. description of the book in. Modifying it a bit so that the AI... So before we, before we enter here... Um, and, and I need to make sure... So the... Um, we need to cast these aid, uh, uh, get these sure. aid, sp aid spells cast on us, um, that aid. so so that we can have extra hit points. Yeah, I'm gonna mute real quick though. can see that we're playing for five hours today and still <laughs> we're not gonna finish <laughs> uh. i think the god has popped that up here in the last two days i don't think they're going to finish even with five hours yeah this is a major boss fight and it's 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 supposed to be the way it's supposed to be all right, I'm back. And we're going in with all... But it's amazing how I foresaw yeah. that even five hours wouldn't do it. But imagine, had we done three hours, they would still be fighting. <laughs> They'd still be fighting in the first battle. Well, I'm ready for Francis to come back, so let's get this done. <laughs> oh, no, really, I'm ready for Francis to come back. Goddess has a favorite. Um... Uh, Okay. No, I mean, Francis, yes, I'm a little bit biased, but Francis has been hiding for a while, and he needs to come back. I love you, lad. <laughs> hey, that's fine. I'll just uh, do my best to kill him off on the first game. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're going to kill him? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let me delete Carquin and go grab the right one. Time for okay. some high rolls. All right. Well, first things first, before we enter this temple, uh, <clears throat> Leroy Jenkins, let's go. So, um, yeah, you can you can skip around this one. I don't care about this. Okay, who all who all has who all has the uh, the aid spell? Persephone's got that uh, scroll. 
scroll that's a fourth level scroll and if it's i mean if it's like the regular age spell you can she can affect up to three creatures with it so i guess she needs to her um mad chops and who else who else has has a lower number of hit hit points and for some reminds remind you guys that you do have some minor elixirs of uh yes potions yes but the 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 aid spell actually will give you temporary hit points for eight hours and she reminds you that an aid spell is one action uh, whereas everybody can take an action for free right now and drink a healing potion. Yes. Yeah, I'm good. Well. So that's well. 2d4 plus 2. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Right. Know what I mean? Just oh, I, I no get you, more. but I'm good. I'm at 99. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I can I can afford to, to heal up the rest of the way. I need six more hit points. So I will drink a um, a regular potion. He says, "What one d four plus two d two d four plus two two d four plus two? Okay. Yes. And I'll, I drank one of my potions too, and I'll knock it off real quick. So let's see here. Two d four plus two. So with the plus two, that'll give me. I'm I'm at full strength. All right. Cool." I'm still nine points away from full. I'll take another one. I've got plenty. Let's see. Yeah, well. Yeah. All right. I'm at 39 out of 59. I'm fine. Uh, no, no, you're not. <laughs> well, you're 39 out of 50. Well, were you still a, are you still a, or did you go back to a... Uh... a cure moderate. Which one was that? Wait. Uh, oh, yeah, because he took damage before he changed into the dinosaur yeah so and are he was you, are away. you you're drinking another I a cure mod which one yeah, i did yeah i took two potions i'm i'm still i'm five points oh no four points away from full hill so i'm good so what do you what are you doing carquin uh trying to find the I'm trying to remember what the cure moderate potion was all right so this is uh directed at the the dm but also the group um as i'm looking at my my items list I see that I have a vial of laughing gas. <laughs> God, what was that from? Where the God, hell did that been... come from? Oh, that was from... Uh... That came from Quasquetan. Yeah. Oh, shit. Quasquetan. Quas <laughs> yeah, you've been holding on to that for a minute. I had forgotten totally about that. <laughs> you guys want to use the vial of laughing gas? Like a flashbang? Sure. <laughs> <Fuck Sure. it. laughs> kind of like using Tasha's uh, um, yeah, yeah whatever that is. so what I can do is uh, if, if if we go inside this this temple if it's big enough you know maybe I'll uncork this thing and just toss it as far as I can into a group of uh, whatever's in there Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I don't know. Eh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Other than yeah, that, I, I see what the fuck happens. <laughs> Other than that, I think we go with the same plan that we just used. Yep. Agreed. Oh, now, okay, actually, here, let's, our, our, our main focus here is to try and find the dungeon. Yeah, but you know we're going to have to fight. Well, I know it's going to be that damn easy. I know that, but <laughs> let's 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 first things first is find the dungeon and find the prophetess. I feel attacked. 
if we can if we can get to the prophetess and have the fight after that let's do that yeah i'm just thinking that once we walk through those doors we're going to be seeing a situation similar to the the lesser temple well, yeah. well of course we, we don't know though we don't know until we you know, maybe we can put look through the door and see what we see because there's gonna no go with the whole how big is this door I haven't got that far yet. I'm I'm waiting for you guys to. Well, I mean, let me describe the what you. Can see. we see the door from however far we are? Uh, I'm assuming you're going to do all your healing up uh, a, a distance, and yes, and, and that's complete, right? Okay. All right. Good. So uh, we're taking a short rest, or are we just going to? No, we don't. Have to... potions? You do not feel. I don't think a we have time place to do a short rest here. Cool. So just potion, potion up, and if anybody's still way down, uh, I can give you, I can, I can help peel you some. So, how far down are you, Carquin? I'm at, I'm only seven. You're only seven down. Yeah. Okay. Who, who else? Who else is? How far is anybody else down? We're good. I'm, I'm, I'm four down. I'm, I'm only four down. Okay. I'm four health. Yeah, we're good. Uh, all right, so we're all good. Yeah. So who's the who's the stealthiest of us? That would be <laughs> Chode. Sir Chode. So yeah. if, if there's a way for Sir Chode to take a peek inside the door and see what he sees, let's do that. Well, whatever we're going to do, I think we need to do it. Because the longer we loiter out here... I uh, agreed. Yeah. So let's, okay, let's, let's go up to the door and let Sir Chode see if he can take a peek in. All right. Yeah, didn't, didn't he warn us about doors earlier? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, as a group, no, that's randomly fine. opening doors oh, and just randomly doing, okay. doing okay. stuff is going to yeah. result in stuff. Well, we're not doing this randomly. We're trying to get a quick peek of what we oh. what we could see. I don't think you can open someone's front door and look inside and say, "Oh, hi, I see, I see you." Okay. Let's go. Well, all right. Let's. I mean, that's like a cartoon situation. Let us approach the front door. All right. There we go. Uh, everybody stand still. Uh, Sir Cho, roll shit. stealth. All right. I'm peeking in, right? Yep. Roll stealth, and then I'll describe uh, the scene. Okay. Apparently, I do not see anyone. Uh, Ballas, did you roll stealth? It's... <laughs> It's, Balustrated yeah. steps leading up to the main story of the Fane. These f stairs are fashioned to resemble a spider web. Give me a second here. I wonder if I've already put this in. Oh, fucking get, the game just struggles, man. I hope y'all like the chanting that occasionally plays. Yeah, the Gregorian mint, uh, Gregorian chant. Yeah. Uh, these stairs are fashioned to resemble a spider web. The foyer of the temple is deserted. The black stone <laughs> of the floor is shot with like web-like traces of white, and the marble pillars are veined with black webbing. Normally, some noble only comes this far when a special favor is requested. The walls of the place are hung with a gauzy material, and the overall effect is that of standing amidst endless webs. An altar where offerings of goods are placed is located on the left and right. It is carved with many spider shapes. Two candles burn at either end, and it bears offering octagonal offering platters made of beaten gold. And the candle holders appear to be onyx inlaid with gold. And uh, I believe you can see it there, Sir Chode? Yes. And here... Uh, stand by. And, and you said that's the, he's looking at the at the uh, foyer. At the foyer, yeah, the foyer, and it is empty. There's nobody in it. Okay. Yep. Nobody's in it. And I see a large circle object, about maybe ten or fifteen by ten or fifteen, with two torches, just beyond that. Yep. And so the one on the left is a bowl. Why am I not pinging? There. Yep, that's a bowl, and the one on the right is a plate. 
Okay. All right. So I guess there's nobody in the foyer. Let's go ahead and enter and be as uh, do you, quiet. Do you want me to? Uh, I can cast uh, Pass Without Trace on us. Sure. Try to help. All right. So I'll cast. Pop that up for me. It. <clears throat> so that gives everybody a plus 10 on their stealth, right? Yeah. Hold on. Now. I'll throw it up. Yeah, it does. As long as you stay within 30 feet of me. Okay. All right, so we're, I guess we're going to, let me roll, roll stealth too, and. You're good. You're good. Squishy. Fuego still rolls with disadvantage, but adds 10 to his lowest number. <clears throat> yep. Match uh, Yes. Yeah, roll, roll stealth. stealth. All right. I'm locked up. I, I can't find it. There it is. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Father Scab, Stephanie. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta find me. I got too many tabs open. <laughs> and where's that music coming from? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> uh... Got nineteen tabs open, seventeen to frozen. I don't know where the music's coming from. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> all right, we all pass. Uh, <clears throat> so we're, we enter stealthily, and our, our I think our first focus needs to be finding a door that might lead to the to the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that we're inside, do we see any doors? Uh, you do. You see an open door here to the left, past the, past both of the one door each, past uh this. Um, uh, roll perception. I don't perceive shit. Joe doesn't either. Carquin can hear. Well, my quite. passive perception is bit higher than that. Uh, what is that one? Uh, <laughs> Everyone's passive perception is higher than that. Yeah, Carquin hears some voices coming out of this doorway here. Quick, hide. He does not hear any out of this one. So let's approach. The left is quiet. Let's go to this door and search out. Oh wait, I'm talking to your head. In your heads. Okay, let's go. See if you see if you can see anything inside that in that door. Who's missing? All right, hold on. Can't move. Move up. You okay. won't let me move up. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, you, you get stuck in a pole. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, stay off the pole, sir. All right. Um, I see an empty room with a table and chairs. Maybe see any other? Work. Yep, hold see on right doors? there. Just, yeah, hold on uh, right there. No. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Carquin informs you that this looks like this area is a meditation area. Uh, where uh, people can worship Loth. He doesn't know exactly the... the uh, ah, fucking ting, bing. Hang on. I'm trying to ping it. This area is a meditation area, uh, and he does not recommend you meditate in that area. Uh, Shit. Wasn't planning on it. Uh, the, the room that's open and empty is a council chamber it has a long table in the center there's several chairs around the table and comfortable couches along the wall the floor is covered in soft carpeting and the walls are hung with gossamer veils um but there's so, uh yeah so let's see uh a fuego i mean not a fuego um sir chode <clears throat> Wait a minute. Let's see. Let me open this. 
What? That is a doorway to the. Uh, oh, that's a window. Oh, a window. I'm to the side of it. Well, I, I rolled my perception and I was trying to ask what that was. Okay. Uh, so that's, Sir that's not a door, that's a window. Sir Chode, yeah. Sir Chode, go, go back by the window, please. No. Damn it. I gotta find it. Where the hell is it? Whoops, sorry, Gringo. I thought that's where you're telling me to go. I thought it was a door. No, I was gonna, I was gonna have you go inside and check the, uh, check the other room for a, uh, if you see, a, if you see if you can find a secret door. This isn't start shit, I will. <laughs> oh, it's starting shit. Jesus. <laughs> I hadn't played. I warned you. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, I was doing. Um, it sure doesn't look like a window. Yeah, it's. I meant to change them. I'm sorry. I should have changed them. Uh, I think, therefore, you should. We should be forgiven for that one. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, as you approach that window, and Grangle's like, "No, the door." Uh, you shy away, and you get a feeling that it was lucky that you didn't touch that window. Yeah. Okay. My ass is in here. Boop. <laughs> <clears throat> I see no doors within the conference room. Plus, I, I want you to check for secret doors. Roll stealth. I don't have a spell for that. Roll stealth. No, uh, tap yeah, and I, what's in and use your perception. Perception. All right. I'm going to stand. Doors. Okay. Uh, right how are there. you looking for this door? Looking for doors. Just going uh, around. We'll check. Look, looking for air drafts and, or... Uh, or uh, on the not floor. quite matching uh, tiles, like where it's been rubbed down. These tiles have been rubbed a little more than others. Okay. And uh, roll a uh, perception. Did you roll perception? Okay. Uh, you notice, I'm going to move you. Uh, when you get to this point, you notice that right here, and I'm going to make, do not open that door. There, locked it. Ah, suck up. That is not a door, but but you notice you notice that the you notice that the picture hanging from the wall, the eyes are cut out of the picture, and it is a spy hole from the other side. Oh. Does the tapestry does the picture move? Uh, you can lift the picture up and move it. And you'll see two holes on the other side. Interesting. So there's a room in behind here to the left. But apparently no way to access it from this not, room. Not from here. There's okay. All right. So we know that there's, we hear talking at this other room over here. So. Um, we risk going into the Carquin and uh, Grangle roll perception. Parkland and Grangle. Okay. Perception? Yep. Oh, I thought you were going to do a three. Oh. <clears throat> Carquin, you hear a lot of footsteps coming fast your direction. In the room right now. In the room. Hey. Get in. More people are coming. And I whisper that in your heads. <laughs> Uh, there's someone Persephone. Behind you. Persephone has got to come in there too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna move her. <laughs> uh, which way does this door open? Um, the secret door or the no, the regular door right here. This door. open, open into the room or out to, out to the room. Uh, it opened out. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So. Let's see, is there, do anybody have some cloth or something we can stick in those eyes? <laughs> I was going to see uh, if we could, how well the structure behind the wall, what's the wall made of? Uh, it is made of stone. Damn. So, Carquin, so you, you stay there by the door and keep an ear out and see what you hear. Uh, Sir Chode? Yes. Have an arrow drawn and ready to fire through the door if we need to. 
done. Hey, why doesn't someone look inside that room and see if they can find where the other where the entrance to that room is? Don't get your eyes poked. <laughs> Uh, maybe because she. Maybe I like how Garquin like, makes the audience. suggestion. <laughs> Why don't one of you guys? You told me to watch the door. Yeah, I didn't I mean... tell you to do anything. I'm just listening. Well, he, well, he's being a team player. Uh, Carquin, roll perception since you're listening at the door, and uh. <clears throat> oh, nice. Uh, you are. Uh, hearing a lot of noise right outside the door. Nope. This door's going to stay nice and closed. What kind of noise are you hearing? He is hearing no, people don't talking. <laughs> don't what, know, don't care. what are they saying? Nick, can you understand? I don't know. GM hasn't told me. <laughs> uh, they are speaking in Elvish. And uh, <clears throat> how high was your roll? Yeah. You can hear that they're saying, yeah, we saw them through the peepholes. They just wandered in like fucking n noobs. What? <laughs> <laughs> like fucking oh, noobs. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, yeah. like fucking noobs, he says. I, I think Parkman should door. open the door and tell those guys to come on in here, and then we'll, like... A noob right here, bitch. <laughs> a noob right here. How many? How many people can you hear, Carquin? About three of them. He's hearing talk. I open. I creak open the door. Would you like to have a conversation over some tea? <laughs> you fucking bastards! Get out of there! They actually can see in, and they see that it's I clearly the door not. Again. They don't drought. like us. No, don't don't do that. <laughs> There's Fireball. only three of them. There's not three of them. <laughs> I immediately shoot an arrow at this guy. All right. Roll, at this, roll at the this damage. Point, Attack at this point, damage. It's the only option. I agree. And then... Uh, that. Stay cool, honey bunny. <laughs> We're all little funsies in here. Come on. All right. Show the erect. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Twelve. <laughs> I'm uh, tall. <laughs> uh, oops. That one. All right. Everybody else roll initiative. All right. Show roll. Oh, yeah, we're already on it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, may have sealed our fate. <laughs> It may have, but it is what it is at this point. So our fate was sealed when we walked in here, right? Yeah, pretty much. If they saw us, then, you know, we were... Well, it was still when you open the door, like, I'll show you noobs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you were fine to walk around in there a little bit, but then you started looking for a secret door. <laughs> and I was like, well, shit. I don't care if you are doing Pass Without a Trace. You ain't going to fucking fart around inside there and not draw attention. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. But if we kill these guys, there'll be no footsteps or proof we were here, so that's a good thing. I'm oh. the one that has to figure out what I'm doing here. What are these guys? Yeah. Come on. Oh, it's so slow. We'll we'll get the turn order set up in time to uh, take a break. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and so you have alerted the guard, I, I'm sure you have figured out, of the main temple. Perfect. Well, mad chops. <laughs> yep. What? Okay. You, Whack. You know what to do. <laughs> yes. I, I got the wrong person. I, I gotta wait sorry. for my turn. Right. I need. Or is everybody pass and wait for me to read a scroll? Let me read say a scroll. Here. Oh, it's still loading. Sorry. Working as fast as I can. And. Oh. That is the. It's this one. Where it's 
this one in for sure. Or is it? Nah. <sighs> so slow. Yeah, that's the one. That the one. Oh yeah. Yeah, Come that's on. it, baby. Yeah, right there. Right there. Do it. <laughs> and bam. Touch it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get everybody sorted. <clears throat> and once again, Grangle is on top. Got us? Oh, boy. I need of to course. keep track again. All right. Uh, Fatal Funnel. Grangle. Yeah, right? No kidding. What oh, you hell. Got? Game on. Yeah, so let's see here. Mm. Well, okay. So that's that. Let's see, holy shit, dude, that's a target rich environment right there. I have lost Grango. I don't see him anymore. I'm I'm there. Are you under trying to figure out what my next Oh, trying to under... figure out what my next move is here, so You are Huckabuck and Carquin, huh? Yeah, I am uh He's using Operation Human Shield. <laughs> right. I say I'm, I'm I'm trying to figure out how I wanna how I wanna button hook through this door. <laughs> and who who who's gonna be the uh who's gonna be the first one to draw my ire here. So I think I'll just uh I'll charge out here and try to finish off the guy that's got the arrow sticking out of him. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Drop him. Drop him like it's hot, like it's hot, like it's hot. Did I damage you? One okay. shot does here. Really get better. And Grangle comes out and Ooh. just fucking spears this guy and drops drops this woman here. He sticks his sword right between her breasts. Hmm. Okay. So <laughs> let's see how much more move back and forth a little bit. How much? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my God! Uh, you got so ten how much more feet. movement do I have here? So you got could ten I, more could feet. I, you can engage the over? one south east of you. Here there you go, like more ten feet. So I can get here, right yep. here. You can get you can get this one. This woman right here. This one right here too. That that's the one. Okay. All right. Woo! It's on, boys. And uh, there you go. she takes quite the whack. Quick whack, patty whack. <laughs> and you are done, sir. I am. And now you are going to get surrounded. All right. Uh, Carquin, I need you to roll me an attack of opportunity. Okay, I'm done. The uh, fuck is that? Oh, it's upside down. Yep, she's upside down. Because <laughs> originally they started at the other end and they had to come down here and I rotate them all as a group and then now they're all upside down. So, uh, all right. I'd um, say they, they look kind of creepy that way. Leave them. It plus does. It, it looks like some weird space ghost villain. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, wait. Car so, so Carquin, yeah. you get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> does a 20 hit? Uh, Yes. Plus one. And she takes five points of damage. Um, okay. Smack. She's asking you if it's in yet. <laughs> I don't know. Let me just discharge it real quick. All right. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. I moved these guys to, on their turn. They've moved. Um, actually, let me move them back. All right. Okay, uh, Grangle, you're gonna get. Uh, Grangle gets an attack of opportunity on one. Okay. So, one swingity dingity. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah. they run past you to surround you, and you get a whack on the first one. All right. <clears throat> now they're going to get a turn. I am going to do the ones that are behind you first. Did you take the health off the wrong one? No. Oh, okay. No, he killed Sorry, one I, that you had already I arrowed. Came back. I, killed, I killed the one that you, that you had uh, stuck with the arrow. Uh, five points of oh, damage okay. so far, sir. And now i got to switch them to disadvantage. And uh, one. You're outside. Two. So I charged out. Three. Yeah, four. I walked off before you went out, so that's why I thought you were still with okay. side. <clears throat> All right, Grangle. Um, what's your hit points, Grangle? Hit or your uh, AC, AC. I'm sorry, AC. At uh, twenty. Okay. Yeah. So you got five points of damage, ten points of damage. Uh, uh, did you already take the five off? Yes. Ten more. Ten more? And a total of 16 more. Okay, so 10 would be 51. So 47, right? What? Huh? Yeah. Oh, you're doing math down. Okay, I was like, no, 47 is too many points. <laughs> Oh, it's like, we're screwed. <laughs> Grangle is down. Um, uh, and also, I need a con roll from you. As she cut, one of them cuts into your flesh, you notice a burning sensation, and you realize those uh, are poisoned. And uh, give me one second. And that's, I guess you can add... Uh, add your three or whatever. My four, yeah. Four is it? And you pass it. You are no longer going to be affected by any poisons. Hmm. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And uh, Carquin. All right. Can I have ready in action? You're going to ready in action and just stand by. Yes. Okay. I'm going to ready uh, to activate my staff when these two get closer. Okay. I don't think I'll bring them closer. But you said you were. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so you were going to wait. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a fighter. Let me. I gotta measure real quick. Uh, I've, I've blocked myself off, and three. I didn't realize it. Three right to there. It's three. There. And Persephone. And she's going to cast spiritual weapon. Ooh, thank you. Uh, here you go, Father Scab. Let's hope hers is more effective than Father Scab's. Yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. not going to do a lot of damage. She's uh, still pretty. 50 50. You know. She's still pretty low. Compared to you, she just has to hit. And that is right, <laughs> right back. You have trained her well, sir. She missed. Sir Fuego. I am going to jump over the table. You leap successfully over the table. And meet her with my blades. And that's a hit. And uh, she is holding on like a... No, that's it. She's down. She's down. She's down. Oh, okay. I was going to say there was... Sorry. <laughs> I still had one more swing. You, you got so many numbers, I got number confused. Oh. So you, that swing, you, you can save. She goes down. Okay. The door is open. <laughs> Bless hey. you. Do you have, do you have Ruben Fuego to step aside? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm checking. Hold on real quick. Uh, I was here. I go across the table. It's 15. I've got my ring, so I can go right there. Okay. Put the right thing on. And then go right there. And I go bust him through the door. All right. And since you saved you saved the one attack, you should be able to attack that other person right in front of you. Yep, with advantage. Oh, right there. With advantage. With advantage, okay. Put that. And surprise, surprise motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Holy shit. Uh, surprise. Do math. Uh that's twenty four. <laughs> And she was already beat up, and you overkilled on that. Um, <laughs> she's down. Why was she damaged? Uh oh. Because I, I got an attack of opportunity. That's on right. Her when that's she right. Ran okay. Past me. And I am done. Okay. And uh, mad chops. Hmm. Yes. I wonder if I can get out of the room. Just fireball him. I know, but I can't see. I can focus on this person here. That's about where you need to put it. Yep, that's about, yeah. I mean, focus <laughs> on him. Hit, hit her with something devastating. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I can, I've got a good line of sight to her, so. If you can bring back my fireball, please, sir. Oh. You know what? Um, I don't, yeah, this is the right size now. I believe. Let me double check. Almost. Just a, just a wee bit bigger, sir. Whoops. Come on. I think that's right. Oh, I got the measuring stick for you. Uh, yep, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold. Wait for it. There you go. There we go. That'll that'll do, pig. Okay. And so I read my last scroll. And well, that's not good. Uh, reposition that... it because I think I moved it from where you originally intended it to be. Or... Oh. I I I just I yeah. want you to have that opportunity. If you like it where <laughs> it's at, then fucking let it. Let it be. I, no, I can't move it. I can't move it, sir. Is that what you want? A little to the left? Well, I was to make sure I wouldn't get... Uh, you are not getting Grangle with that. He is going to get warm, okay. but he's not going to get hurt. You get a hot foot. <laughs> and submit. Oh, wait for it. There it goes. Mm. Oh. Ooh. God. Damn. Uh, so that's going to be... Me. Big bada boom. Big See? bada boom. Right. Is that 18 bada boom, bada is the bada half, bing. right? Oh, that's the end Right of the now you're experiencing that moment. You're like, man, I'm glad I don't have hair. It'll be burnt. They're going, holy shit, that's hot. <laughs> okay. You got to before I did. I have to roll now that I've killed the one I knew was going to die. Soldiers to the minions. All right, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, Hey, I'm sure four. that's what you're doing outside. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> one, two, oh! Ah, motherfuckers. <laughs> that was with disadvantage. Uh... First one saved. The second one I got a reroll. Okay, there we go. And he saved. Wow. All right, two more. One, two. Yep, two more. Uh, two fails and two saves. So that's for the the lower level fighters. It's not like saving did them any favors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> still 18. They, yeah, yeah. They're still on fire. <laughs> now for the other one. Yep. Yep. All right, come here, you. 
so slow. Oh, oh, I think we got another fail. Yep, that's a fail. And it's just <laughs> enough to kill them. Because you rolled so damn high on the damage. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. All right. Uh, Big Daddy Scab. <laughs> All right. Can I make it through this door? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's yeah. nobody right there, and there's nobody right here. There you go. And that's as far as I can move anyway. Yeah. And uh, let me just introduce myself to this uh, this young lady. Would you be interested in hearing about the goddess Salune? Eh? <laughs> she would not. Uh, with advantage, Father Scab, if you don't mind. Well, too bad, because oh. here it comes. Your she, education. <laughs> she's facing away. No. I, I I don't mind at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, going to educate, so educate her about Salune from behind. <laughs> Where is it? There we are. That's what she was saying. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> you Jesus. don't even bother to do math. Um, god. In fact, uh, oh my god. you hit her so hard that she gets thrown Crap. into Grangle. <laughs> All she had to do was say yes, I'd be interested in hearing about oh, God. God. <laughs> Holy crap! 18, 11 is 30? No, eight. Damn, where'd you go to she school? Is now Alabama. 20, 29, 29 plus. Holy shit. 40, 52? Um, let me see here. He killed two of them in one throw. <laughs> yep. And he killed two of them and wounded mess. a third. Yeah. I feel a warm spray down my back. Not only that, you feel a body get slammed into you. Um, so there's that. Look, uh, I've spent too many weeks <laughs> moving around, hiding, being this <laughs> nice guy. All that's Moving over. Into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no more Mr. Pink nice Mist. Guy. Yeah, man, you put her, you put her into the floor like you're into the floor, unless she's not coming out. <laughs> yeah, you no, know, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Holy cow, dude. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm done. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I would well, after, would after so. that. She never saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to. All right. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. This is what we're doing. Let me double check. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what? Sound of alarm. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I mean, who's who's casting that? Mm. <laughs> I'll let you know in a minute. I'm deciding what I'm, what kind of bullshit I'm gonna do. It was well, a I could do temple. that. It was it was a peaceful temple until the bro Brotherhood of the Bloody Blade entered. Yeah. Okay. Don't um, take our priestess, and there won't be a problem. <laughs> Don't start saying it. Won't be none. <laughs> none. That's that needs to be our motto. I thought it was. Damn it. Uh, advantage toggle. Yeah. Whisper rolls. Auto roll. There we go. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> well, I think originally our our motto was "I'm cranky, I'm crabby, I'm feeling a little bit stabby." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, or or oh, I could. Come on. Golly, it's so slow. All right. It's that or it's this. What will work better? 
Not that one. Okay, you're that's echoing you. now. That's not me. That's an issue. No, that's an issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Yeah. Cast it higher. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I'm now <laughs> technically no longer surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were only mildly inconvenienced, is what you're telling me. <laughs> right. All right, yeah, we're doing that. Give me a second. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, thank you. No. I deleted it by accident. It was an accident. Uh, she casts a Guardian of Faith spell. And, um... And uh, the Guardian occupies a space and is indistinct except for a gleaming sword and shield emblazoned with a giant spider. Uh, right <laughs> and uh, let's see. Everybody, except for Carquin, because he's on the other side of the door, now letting me be protected. I'm being nice. Uh, everybody outside. Uh, roll, uh, da, 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 deck save, Outside. beat a, beat a 14. Damn. Oh, nice. Ah, damn it. Good job, bro. Yep, you gotta re-roll, Fuego. To, I forgot to change that, yeah. Oh, Scab makes it. A Fuego takes 20 points of damage. Okay. Yep. 20 points of radiant damage. Everybody else takes 10. And that is a total of 40. Would that include Undermine? Yeah, name, name changes are screwing me up. <laughs> you did, you yeah, changed your own. Feet, but his, uh, I'm within 10 feet of, uh, Grangle, but it, it wouldn't help. <laughs> and uh, she bravely runs away. Sir Chode. Well, I can't get out. Hey. out. And I can't see shit. Uh, hey, Kirk. Yep. I want to come off delay. Okay, you want to make your attack before Sir Chode? Yeah, just call oh. magic. Oh, okay. okay. We go back fourth level. And it is gone. I'm assuming that's what you wanted to do. Yep. Okay. And now, now Sir Now you Chode. can go, Chode. Okay. I'll just uh, wait to leave. Uh, Sir Chode needs to thank Sir Carquin for saving him from getting whacked in the face. Give me an acrobatics I'll, I'll, to jump over that table, Sir Chode. It's since... Operation Human Shield. I got it. Big down scab in front of me. Uh, go Let's ahead. See, uh, Give me at, you know what? Right? Never mind. Never right mind. There. If yeah, because you're not going to get past scab. Um, exactly. Oh. We'll just say you used all your movement to get over the table. Hell, it don't matter. Yeah, that, that actually was my full thirty. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, yep. enough. Okay, <laughs> we'll let it go. Grangle. All right. I know I'm going to give uh, at least probably at least one attack of opportunity. Okay. But I am going to thirty feet should get me to right there. Okay. So roll your attacks of opportunity or attack of opportunity. Uh one, two, three attacks. Because they were all in contact with you. 
<laughs> yep, they were. <laughs> you still want to do it? Now that you know what would happen? Um, That's three separate attacks. Mm, they were going to get three separate attacks anyway if I stood there. Or, well... Yeah, okay. your chances were the same. Well, but I guess this will be on it. It's my attack now, so yep. It's so whatever you want to do. I only have two attacks, and I don't want that bitch to get away if I can avoid it. So, <laughs> so yeah, fuck it. Roll your attacks. I'll take the chance. And it would be a normal roll, not an advantage, just not a disadvantage. Right. The helmet displacement. Because <laughs> the helmet displacement. I'm just uh, making sure. <laughs> uh, 11 points is all that hits you. And you don't have to worry about poison. And make your attacks. Okay, hold on. Fuck. I just hit the wrong fucking button. Okay. There we go. Actually, I just, might just as well pull that back up because they're going next. Ooh. For fuck's sake. And if that doesn't take care of her. Because it doesn't. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. For some Hang reason, on I, don't, I don't have no, her hit points on. For some reason, I thought I did all these. Uh, yes. All right, what was the total again? 25. Oof, it almost took her down. Well, then, uh... She took quite the beating from behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we're going we're gonna to add that to it. And we're going to do it at a second level. Good lord. That'll do big. She drops quickly. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Let me check something. I may have opened the wrong sheet. I did. Don't take backs. Hang on. I think it's. <laughs> I think he's still good. Because he had way too many. What was the grand total damage? We're talking 40 25 points. plus 16. So 35, 41 points. Ooh, close. Um, sorry. Wrong. Let me zoom in. Hang on. Hang on a second. Why am I not zooming? Here we go. Yeah. Okay. I grabbed the level lower, and she was she had more hit points than I thought, because her hit points weren't on. So, whatever. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Stop killing my dude. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Again, this is the warm up. Um. What? <laughs> this is the warm up. <laughs> Uh, level three fighter, Sir Grangle. Uh, Sir Grangle's done. Uh, da, 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 level three fighters. What are we going to do? We are going to move these ones out of the way and move them up. And left or right. I need uh, Father Scab and a Fuego to roll a D6. Fuego, that first one missed you. Get out of the way. And the middle one attacked a Fuego and missed. And the far right one, right heads up on Father Scab, attacked him and missed. Good lord. Yeah. These bitches uh, yeah. suck. Hold, hold your horses. <laughs> I know, ripost. Ripost. And you get. <clears throat> nice. Uh, 16, that's a hit. So that's actually a plus, hit. That's over. Shut uh, up. 
nine plus it doesn't matter 15 total yeah yeah whatever and you get a right post on both of them right because both of them attack oh, you i sure can i was trying to figure out if, if it was just the one or well they they both attacked you there's the d8 for that one. Oh, that's great Oh, oh, oh. Oh. So, uh, 11, 12, 13. Glad I was able to inspire you in some small way. <laughs> oh, you did? You did. <laughs> All right. And it is now Sir Carquin's turn. I gotta remove this one. All right. What, what was coming was this. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they were both going to get it anyway. <clears throat> you know, I think I'm going to call forth one of my favorite spells. It hasn't seen the, the light of day in too long. I, for, oh, well, I of course summon the good old fashioned moonbeam. <laughs> you see it? Yep. Only one left. Roll Why your damage. It? and uh, I am not it? controlling it, apparently. No? Uh oh, where'd it go? Apparently it got put on Father Scab, and I'm like... That's oh, no, no, there it is. Oh, there it is. It's there. It was covered. It was... <clears throat> All right. Put on top of her. All right. And roll your damage. And what's her save supposed to be? Is it Dex or Con? It's a con. con save, I think. Yeah. Good. That's her better save. She saved. Uh, she got a 19. She takes seven points of damage. Or eight points of damage, whatever you... Yeah, I always round seven. up for you guys. Uh, okay. Uh. Eight points of damage goes to here. Mm. All right, Persephone. All right, so I can't see the... Uh... Oh, yep. never mind. There it is. <laughs> well, now you definitely can't see it. <laughs> you want to bring it out? Yeah, she's going to move it. Ah, if I can get a hold of it. it. Oh, you got it. There it goes. It was just delayed. Well, I hadn't decided where I was going to drop it. So, yeah, she's going to put it there. And... Where are you at? There you is. Ba bam Yep. Mm. Ah, nope. Mm. Okay. You have right. taught her well. <laughs> yep, indeed. And she and... hollers out, Scabby, I don't think it's working right. <laughs> oh, no. It's working exactly, it's working exactly like it always does. <laughs> and I'm calling out, to me, a fuego, to me. <laughs> oh, more of a distraction. <laughs> Yep, go ahead and make your attack of opportunity. Uh, no, she's running away. <laughs> no. This one. I ran right past her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably going to be a miss anyway. Oh, but she was engaged with Father Scab, right? Yeah, but he's still past her. And her world's just been lit up. Yep. She sees the light. Oh, Salune. Uh, Elist El Elistre or whatever. Come on. There you go. Uh, she misses you. So we... As you go by. It bounces so on, off your arm. on this one, <clears throat> a total of uh, 13, uh, 26. <laughs> Words. I want to make sure she did. Yep. And she is dead. <laughs> uh, She's dead. Uh, probably the last attack for the night, Mad Chops. If you want to attack, you don't have to. We can send it to Father Scab. Yeah, let's send it. Yeah, because I've, I've got no clear 
It's line of sight. You gotta hold your turn. I am going to Father Scab. I'm gonna put a clock on you. All right. Because we're we're gonna come back and try to remember that it's your turn at some point. <laughs> so I'm getting the last attack. Yes. Well. You're, yes. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. If you if you succeed. We have time for more. Uh, let me double check her armor. That's a miss. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, whoops, wrong character. Uh, oh, Scab, do you have a uh, do you have a hero point? He does do not. not. Um, you do have okay. movement. Do you have a point of inspiration? You do have movement as well. Move out the way. Move out the way. Yeah, but we're we're good for right now. All right. Um, I will take her off of there. Sir Chode. Can I squeeze through? Uh um roll uh, ath uh athletics, yeah. Uh Yeah, you you muscle past Father Scab and give him a shoulder and the back and an elbow and the ribs to remind him to get the fuck out of the way sometimes. Oh, I'll allow it. Go ahead. He's nowhere he can go. <laughs> He's kind of muscled into the into the uh, into the table. I just wanted to pick on Father Scab. He's Father Scab's probably technically sort of mostly out of the way. <laughs> So it'd be twenty. Are you gonna run past her too? Okay. <laughs> yep. And they're right there. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to disadvantage again. It's probably thinking what, is that nobody wants to fight me. <laughs> Does no one feel threatened by me? <laughs> oh, we got this knucklehead up here. All right. And he <clears> shoots <throat> her in the back, and uh, that does, does some damage. That does some more damage. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do math, and that'll do. That'll do? All right. Yep, she's down. Well, that would definitely do. And uh, we will stop at this point. Uh, it is Mad Chops's, uh He held his turn. However, you have no enemies in the immediate area. Right. I have someone looking at you there. Uh, what you want to say if we go? Right. Before Wrangle before we and... go, I before yeah. we go since I would I would be up in the in the turn order next. I'm going to uh, go ahead and drink a po drink my potion of superior healing. Okay. And heal yourself. Let me see. Huh. Hit points didn't drop off my character, but I took it off the machine. Four, it's five, weird. Eight. So <clears throat> might have so, to reestablish your character. Do you want to play my play me next Sunday, or are we waiting? Or oh what? no, we're waiting I, for this. I was okay. okay. I said I don't care either way. Oh, we're waiting. Six. Where was it? Two weeks. That's, It'll probably take thirteen two plus weeks two. To, uh, <laughs> get the rest of the guys coming at you. I mean, what? 13 plus 6 is 19, plus another 8 is 27 hit points. So let me give that back to myself real quick. Let me touch myself. <laughs> 27 would be 53. <laughs> And all right, uh, I guess that's all I can do at this point. I'll probably, at a, with another turn, I'll try to add some more hit points to myself. I'll touch myself. All right. Uh, hmm. Oh, sorry. So we're going to start with Sir Carquin and then Persephone and work our way through the list again. Uh, uh, 
I need, uh, just before we go, uh, a Fuego and Drangle to roll Perception. He just used his turn, which means we went around enough times, right? I don't see shit. And Drangle don't see shit. Good enough. <clears throat> All okay. right. Mad Chops, you're in the room, giggles. and you don't see shit. I'm in a room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we still have quite a bit of battle. I think uh, we'll be able to finish the battle. And then we will uh, level up and start to, we'll just, you know, transition everybody to Father Scab's mission. And, uh, okay. yeah, I think we'll be good. We're going to go back to Wencroy at some point. Father Scab will pick us up from there. Okay. Awesome. All right, so not next week, but the week after. Sounds good. Okay. We're not so we are not playing next week. We are not playing next week. All right. I'll All right, everybody. Since we're not working. playing next week, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy All Saints Halloween. Day. Or... Oh, we yeah, can whatever you want to play it. next week if someone wanted to do a one off. No takers? Okay. Fair enough. I'll, I'll think about it if I can throw something together, okay? <laughs> no, no, don't feel put out about it. No, I mean, no, I. I I've been thinking about trying to throw together a quick one-off. Yeah, it'd be good practice for you. Yep. Be it uh, for that. And, and whoever can make it can make it. Yeah. We, we talk to each other. Um, all right. All right, guys. Well, I will see everybody. I will either have something, you know, uh, some quick one-off one put together. And, uh, well, you know what? I don't have any DM access to the uh, to roll 20. Oh, you do. You just, uh, we'll talk you through setting it up. Okay. Yeah, just call me one of these nights. All right. Hey, uh, if I could get you guys just to keep my puppy, um, Toby, in your thoughts, because I don't think tomorrow's going to be a very good day. Oh, we, man. Oh, sorry man. to hear that, brother. The, I thank you for the distraction today, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a very good day. Poor Toby. Mm. Well, we'll be in prayer um, for you, buddy. Yeah. Well, right. you guys have a good night. You too. You too. See you, yeah. fellas. We'll see you guys.